people ask me all the time, tracy, how did you ah gather such vast amounts of wealth? how are you able to afford all of these knives, these luxury cars? that's this giant mansion. well it's simple really. i'm an idiot and i like things done the easy way. i prefer to do things the easy way. and the easiest way to buy and sell knives these days is at nafsale.com. nafsale.com makes it easy and beautiful for you to buy and sell knives on the secondary market. facebook? hard pass. reddit? no thank you. who reads anymore? blade forums? more like lame forums. i'll take a hard pass on that as well. nafsale.com is a beautifully crafted website where they take the minimum amount possible out of the value of the sale in order to cover their expenses. they pay you directly to your checking account or whatever form of bank account you have set up. if you don't have one, where are you gonna put all this money? it's easy, it's beautiful. simply snap six pictures as a seller, list your item, select the condition, select the price you want, and you're done. next thing you know you got a fat stack of cash sitting in your bank account. so if you want to be rich like me, if you want to have a knife collection that you can fill a swimming pool with and swim around in, which i don't recommend, i'm still paying off those medical bills, go to nafsale.com, set up your account today, start buying knives and selling knives the easy way. Ooh, I, oh, 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 I was about to say, I hope this works. There it is. Hey, what's up? What is up, everybody? God, I hope the audio's good. I hope everything's good. Because, uh, you know, you know, a little bit different. A little bit different. You get to look at all the guitars this time. And I'm standing up, which does not bode well, because I like to move around. I'm a mover. I'm a shaker, okay? Look, I'm doing the Pyramid of Power already. We're like two seconds in. This is gonna be this is gonna this is gonna be something. I need y'all to buckle up. I need y'all to buckle in. Okay, click it or tick it, capiche? Cause we got <laughs> uh, we got knives. We got a lot of knives. I didn't realize how just look, I didn't realize just just how many knives I had. You know what I mean? Uh it's a lot. It's quite a few. It's quite it's a lot, dude. Uh it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a problem. So, uh, yeah, you know, buckle up, kids. Good to see everybody. We got Jay Dizzle. We got Sensor226. Uh, we got Cowboy Silver. Hi ho, Silver. How you doing, man? Barry, Kazoo Dan, Clint Crosby, Pete's Operator. We got Paul Lefty Dubs. We got Knife Canut. We got the Canut. Hold on, let me adjust. Oh boy, that's going to be loud for you here for a second. Just, bu just buckle up. I told you it's going to be a wild ride. Yeah, that's a little better. Give me a downward angle. Give me the downward dog, Capiche? We got Jay Wiz, Mike McLaughlin, what's up, man? How you doing, huh? Hey, hey, how you doing? You're looking good, huh? You're looking fresh, my friend. Eric Peppenhorst. Ah, uh, Mr. Peppenhorst, yeah, it's good to see you, yeah. Very good, yeah. Thank you very much for coming, yeah. Uh, Steve O, oh, what's up, JD for EC? Carco, what's up, man? Marty, good to see you, dude. Nick Travellini, Rene Ramon, Peter Kottmeyer, Chet Hopper, Billy ZD69, Josh Turner, uh, uh, ah, there's a lot of people in here. Hi, Tide EDC. Isaiah Barnett, of course. Good to see you. Andrew Lyons. Parker's here. Good to see you. Robo, Stevie O. Diabetes. Diabetes. You got it. We got it. We all got it. It's 2024. We've all got it at this point. Paul Mills, good to see you, dude. Rawhead Spear. War 918. Cole Porter. Lord Jehovah is here. Oh, dude. Uh, well, you're not. Mm. I was going to put Jesus in the office chair like he's busy writing up like TPS reports. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You know, missed opportunity. It's because the angle, you're never, you know, you're not even going to be able to see him. What are you going to do? By the way, this, this is, don't, don't you do that to me. Ah, you dirty little girl. You turn right back on. My light turned off. We got problems. We got, we got big problems in little China. Whatever. You're going to get one blue light instead of one blue run, one red. Um, Robbie W. Chase R. Christopher Wolfakula. Good to see you, my friend. Yeah. Marco, good to see you. Ontario Trail Riders. Good to see you. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Who else we got in the house? Huh? Good crowd. Hot crowd. Spicy crowd. Spicy crowd, baby. This feels different. It should. You should feel uncomfortable. Uh, I'm so sorry. Some things never change. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Anybody else? Ian Coates! Brother Ian. Kisses. 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 What is what is this? Dude, me standing up on a live stream 
is a problem. I'm just I'm just coming to this realization that me standing up for these. I can't sit still. Let alone stand still. You want me to stand still? You want me to Let me just stand up. Let me just Let me just stand in one place. Is this what you want? For the rest of the night. This is it. 3 hours of this until I black out. <laughs> I need a vibrator knife? Barry, I can work on that for you. I can work on that. By the way, I need to turn up donations before shit gets out of hand. Gotta get the farts. Gotta get the screaming women involved. You know I love it. Uh, Saber Grip Knives, good to see you, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Look how mess, look at this mess. This is what you don't see. I hide this from you. These are the things I hide from you. So you don't get, you don't think, you don't judge me. So I don't get judged. I still got Christmas. I got Christmas lights up still. It's a nightmare. Go sit in the corner. Oh, you want me to do like a you want me to do like a Blair Witch project? Billy? Billy? Is that, is that what you want? Hit him with hit him with the Blair Witch project. See how that gets see how that gets him. Uh, save some coke for the rest of his day. I'm fresh out, pal. Fresh out, buddy. Uh, I'm actually really tired. So, I'm, I'm pounding gamer subs. Uh, there's a door you can leave. Sorry, can't do it. Can't do it, man. Hope you guys liked my Blair Witch. Are you drinking any coffee? Ed Durbin, your cup is downstairs. Uh, I didn't have time to make any coffee. But I will, I will very much be using that. Ed Durbin sent me out of the blue. Why is, there you go. Out of... Lighting? Hello? Lighting? Garbage? Anyway, Ed, Renee, thank you. Um, Ed, Ed Durbin out of the blue sent me one of those, um, one of those coffee mugs that looks like a camera lens. And I love it. It just, I, I've had to redo the entire kitchen, kitchen plumbing today and like strip down and like strip sand clean the litter box today. It's been a shit show of a day and I've hated every minute, minute of it. And I've just been looking forward to this. So for that to show up today of all days, Ed, thank you. Can we get a shout out in the chat to Ed for the little gift? Just a little something, something. Probably didn't even cost him that much, but it's the thought that counts and I love it. So thank you, Ed. You guys will be seeing that on the uh, probably Thursday and Sunday mornings. It puts the lotion on me. Renee! I don't like you standing over me like this, but I'll accept it. Zock sock 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 so you're l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l Can't argue with that. I'll get my bells in a minute. I what to do with my hands l l l l l l l l l l l l l l l slice of pizza 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 Very good. Let me grab the bells. Let me grab the bells. Try not to hurt myself. Renee! Thank you, sir. And uh, Pete's operator with the buck 99. Thank you, gentlemen, so much. So, before this gets too out of control, before this gets too out of hand, you know, we got we got new rivals. And every single one of them is for the big 10K giveaway at the end of the month. So, we're going to switch views. Maybe. There it is. There she blows. Yes. Yeah, you get a little foot. You get a little foot action today, huh? What do you think about that, huh? This is the view you will see for the majority of this stream. Okay, all right. The little tabletop, little tabletop action. Capish, you know what I'm saying? We got some new rivals. Uh, don't remember who sent any of this. It's been, like I said, it's been a wild day. It's been a rip roaring hell of a day. Just had a fat slice. Paul FDW, what's up, man? Um, Travis Kirk sent two of them. And then the other two are from Christopher... No. Who are the other two from? Uh, mom. Not my mom. Who are the other two from? Uh... Not Christopher Robinson. Nor... Was it... Who sent me this stuff? Chase! Chase R. Chase R sent the other stuff. Um, so the first package, I think, was Chase R. Yoink. Yeah, get in there. Full effect. Uh, these are for the 10K giveaway. I'm pumped about this. Boom. Look at that. Huh? This is the, 
This is the Kalashnikov OTF, which is just big handle, little blade. <laughs> That's all this is. Big handle, tiny blade, little guy, little cutie blade. Look at that thing. <laughs> Look at it. I mean, I like, when I opened this, when I unboxed this yesterday, I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is kind of sick. This is kind of badass. Deep carry clip. We got that ergonomic uh, tomfoolery going on. Like brass knuckles in the hand. But then I opened it and I was like, excuse you? Give me a bigger blade, Boker. Give me a, just something a little bigger. Pretty sure it's made by Cobra Tech. Uh, pretty sure that's the Cobra Tech maker's mark. Pretty sure. Not 100%. But it looks goofy. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. We'll be giving it away. The action's great on it. I have no complaints. It's a true dagger grind. We got the real deal dagger grind going on here. So yeah, dude. We'll be giving that away for 10k. Know your local life, wa uh, life walls? Knife walls. Try knife walls. And he donated this. Another boker. But this one's made by Protec. This is the uh, Quiken. The Boker Protec Quiken Auto? Oh yeah, baby. This one's more my speed. This one's more my taste. Capiche? Yeah. It's a Protec. Made in America. Made with love. In the United States. It was <laughs> it was designed by... Do it does look like the Dodge logo, Ian. That's, I don't, now you're screwing me up. That does look like the Dodge logo. Vapper, Vapper, Dodge Vapper. But the uh, the Protec will be giving that away for the 10K giveaway. So shout out to Chase R in the chat down below for our boy Chase. Thank you, man. Seriously, way, way, way too kind, way too generous. You sweet hunk. This is nice. This is great. Way bigger than I thought it would be. Um, pair of three for size comparison. Hello, it's a long boy, long slender boy. Huh? Just like me. Just like me. So, shout out to Chase R. 10K giveaway coming in hot. And then, Travis Kirk sent a little, little goodie basket. A little bag of goodies. How about a Microtech? How about an Ultratech? Microtech, Ultratech. Again, dagger grind. I'm not a dagger grind guy. Not a big fan, all things considered. But it gets the job done. OD green, aluminum, made with love in America. So, we're giving away two OTFs. Wasn't on my bingo card for this giveaway. I'll tell you that. But we're going to give it away. Why not? Check her out. Nick Travellini. <clears throat> nice. Love that. Back to work. Have a good one, guys. Steve-O, two months, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Uh, lay it on me. Hot and wet. I am surprised slash proud of you for wearing pants. Look, I had to. You know, I had to today. Excuse me? 17 months. Jesus, Nick. Don't ever leave me. <laughs> Tinkly bells, my friend. Yeah, the Ultratech's nice. This is the only uh, Microtech I've ever personally owned. I had the Tonto version, single edge. It was fine. There are other OTFs I like more. Axial Gear, Guardian Tactical, uh, the, the EMPDC Pulse. I like that more. But this is fine. It's fine. It's a great knife. All American made, like I said. In the box with the paperwork. Pretty much brand new. There's an Echo. That's no bueno. It's probably because this mic's so sensitive. It's fine. Don't just pretend like it's not there. And finally, from Travis, another Protec. Oh, no. It's stuck in my sleeve. I'm going to pass away. Boom, dude. <laughs> the gods... The god... The god... The... the the Godfather, the Godfather, the God Daddy, the God Papa, the big one? Dude, are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? Are you jerking me around? This thing's nuts. This is one of the only Protex I've ever, I've like avoided somehow. I've owned a shit ton of Protex. Um, but the uh, Godson and the Godfather I've never handled. Nuts, dude. I gotta roll up the sleeves. This one's dangerous. The God Papa. The God... Six months, Casey. What's up, man? Wow. Six months. <laughs> Knew I'd marry Sassy after six months. Me... <laughs> Tinkly Bell. Six months. 
tinkly bells. But yeah, we'll be giving this away. 10K giveaway. Giving away the uh, the big papa. The 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 god daddy. Huh? What do you think about that? Willie B, what's up, man? Autos don't make your pickle tickle. Well, we're going to see a lot of autos today. So there you go. But don't worry. There's way more new rivals because we got a fat package from Willie B who just arrived. Oh, no. My light is falling over. Lord Jehovah, help me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, big box. Big box of stuff, dude. From our boy Willie B. Big, fat, voluptuous sack of stuff, pal. That is all we talked about all that. Will be... I've been a busy boy, man. This 10K giveaway at the end of the month is going to be stoop. It's going to be dumb. It's going to be foolish. First and foremost, CRKT, CEO. Little pea shooter. Little scrawny boy, just like me. Just like me. I didn't realize, this must be an older one, unless they're all like this, but it's tip down only carry. Kind of a boner killer for me, honestly. Uh, but it's a great knife, cuts well. Unboxing for all five of these coming soon-ish, probably like two months from now. But the CEO's a great knife, one of, uh, one of CRKT's best. So we'll be giving that away for 10K, why not? Uh, we got a Rough Rider, and I wouldn't even mention this Rough Rider unless it was worth mentioning. I gotta tell you. Look. Look at me close. Look at me in my eyes. I gotta tell you. Hello? This boy. Thank you. Thank you for that. Tinkly Bells. Tinkly Bells pop tooth. <laughs> Piss boy. Can we get some light over here? Jesus Christ. So this... You're not even gonna be able to see it on this angle. This is a giant switching angles again. Let me tell you something. I'm not a big fan of Rough Rider. I've never had good experiences, but this is, I don't even know what this is called. I just unboxed it yesterday morning. The RR817. It's huge. Where's my, uh, here's a pair of three. Here's a pair of three. It's like an inch longer than a pair of three. It's a big boy. Slip joint, no half stop, none, but full flat grind, what is this, 440C? 440 razor sharp steel, quote unquote, air quotes, razor sharp. Got booger fingers all over it. It's a slip joint with a liner lock. It's got this giant dingleberry right here. It's a liner lock. So it's a locking slip joint. And I gotta tell you, really sharp. It's the first time in my career that Rough Rider didn't lie to me about the sharpness of their blades. Because they're not the sharpest. They really aren't. But this thing's sick. I think this is badass. Uh, it cuts well. It locks? I don't know. I think it's badass. So we'll be giving that away for 10k. The Rough Rider RR... Fuck. 817? Capiche? Wow! Wow! That's a big wow! Hot damn! Shipping funds Aubergine. Where's my gong? Wait, where's my gong? Mom? Hello? Aha! You get the gong. You get the gong, Mikey! He gets the gong. Oh, I missed. There you go, Chief. There you go, pal. You live there now. Relax. Relax. Uh, things kind of get weird. Get out of control. Mikey, shout out to Mikey in the chat. We got a Devo Pony Stout. Which you'll see another one of these later on in this live stream. Great. We'll be giving that away. These are all courtesy of Will B, by the way. All five. One, two, three, four, five. All five of these. Courtesy of Willie B. Love the Pony Stout. Dynamite EDC knife. Little cutie. Little cutie patoot. You know what I'm saying? We got a Kubi. We've given away a shit ton of these. Kubi Royal. Just kick another one in. So we'll give, we're giving away a Kubi Royal. Yeah, I won that in a giveaway yourself. Congrats. It's honestly not bad. Will, I'm blown away by it. I'm not blown away by it, but in Rough Riders' term, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, it's kind of impressive. Kubi Royal, absolute banger. Love this knife. Big fan, so we'll be giving that away. And finally, this fucking thing, which is the only way I can describe it, is this fucking thing. This is the Century... Lee? Lee? The Century Lee, I guess. It's fucking huge. It's huge. It's huge. Look at this thing. 
Look at this thing, dude. You want a size comparison? Here's a pair of three. How about that? How about that for a size comparison? Immense. Immense. Dude. Absolute behemoth. I don't know what else to say about it, other than it's ridiculous. Detent's really good. It cuts really well. It's got this absolute nonsensically large chonky cleaver on it but i don't hate it all things considered all things considered pocket cleaver rommel i don't even know that i would go as far as to call it like pocketable it's got a deep carry clip on it but it's just it's just it's ridiculous so pumped to be giving that away so we got we got a ton the 10k giveaway is out of control and i still have one two three four five packages five five more to open up you know you were laughing i knew you yeah i saw your note and i was like it has to be this one it has to be so shout out to willie b for all the uh giveaway donos and shout out to travis kirk and chase r thank you gentlemen oh so very much but it's time we gotta zoom out so you can see those little piggies down there it's time baby we're digging in we're deep diving. There'll be no shopping today, okay? There'll be no NAF sale. There'll be no Blade HQ. We're just deep diving into this massive toolbox I bought, which is sadly broken, unfortunately. Bums me out. But uh, at this point, every knife gets a second to be talked about. Now, we'll give it We'll give it more time than that. We'll give it some time. We'll talk about it. Um so we're going to save this box for last, obviously, to see who the real OGs are. But we're going to just start in the top drawer. And I, there is no way for me to set this up so that you can see the whole drawer opened up. But what I can do is just open it real slow. We'll kind of go layer by layer. How's that sound? So first off, first row, we got to just dive in, baby. We got to dip, dive, duck, dodge, dive. This is just the first row of knives in here. A couple of those, one of those, a couple of them. That's just row one in the first of five drawers. So it's going to be a long night, folks. Zoom in for full effect. Starting on my left, this ratch here is the uh, Katuo Triad. Made by Reich Knife, carbon fiber, uh, M390, M390 fidgety little button lock i think these are like 215 bucks you know it's dynamite it's great detent could be better it's probably my only gripe on this knife but a nice hollow grind compound ground uh tonto ish with a poon with a subtle little poon on there nice contoured handles weighs nothing like super lightweight really nice for 215 bucks like i have zero complaints makes a good noise too great it's great so there you go the uh Katua triad then we have the rayot uh east meets west which is a double bladed full titanium bolster lock i'm afraid to cut myself eh! front flipper which is just absurd in every way uh hand rub satin finish tonto m390 and then a uh, kind of trailing point on the other side this is the batman knife baby you know what i mean if you can dodge a knife, you can dodge a ball. Brian, you know it, baby. I love this thing. Uh, it's thicker than a damn snicker, but the action's dynamite. I need to get a slip made for this. I need to get a custom slip made. This one didn't come with a pocket clip uh, or a slip. This was a prototype that they gave to me, that Rayot gave to me. Shout out to Rayot. Um, but uh, the production ones, if you go buy one, they'll, they, they come with... A slip clip, a clip slip, whatever the hell. It's a it's a knife slip with a pocket clip on it. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. No way Cole remembers the names of every knife. If there's one thing I do remember, it's the name of every knife. I might forget a few. But there you go. The EMW. I think it's cool. A lot of people hate it. You're you're wrong. Now then, Dylan Mallory, Forrest, baby. The Forrest V2 in S90V. OEM'd by Artisan Cutler, I believe. Full flat ground, reverse tonto. I love this knife. I love this knife. I love Dylan. Hello? Oh, my wife's here. What is that? Arby's? 
We have the meats? Thank you. Alright, well somebody decided to buy us Arby's. Who? Who? Who did it? Josh? Josh! Thanks for the Arby's, bro. Thanks, big boy. I'm gonna have the meat sweats by the end of this. What was I talking about? Oh, I put it in my pocket. <laughs> uh, Dylan Mallory, 4S V2. Love this thing. Great knife. Great value for money. I use it quite a lot. Cults like a dream. Ergos are great. Love the fat carbon inlays. Full titanium. Uh, it's a liner lock or is it an inset lock? Inset lock. Liner lock. It's a liner lock. Love it. Big fan. Check it out. Dylan Mallory Forrest V2. I've had both Vs, if you will. Of course, you guys know this one. CGRB Mica. The little pea shooter drop point. The little pea shooter uh, drop point pyrite. Easy four finger grip on this thing. It's delightful. It's damn delightful. If you don't like the Mica or the next one, which is the painted mini pyrite, you're a fool. You're clowning yourself. Okay? These are damn adorable. And the, I have more of these. I have more of these. Love this. Highly recommend the Happy Meals knife. That I mean, that's a Happy Meals toy. Can we all agree? Can we all agree? Shake hands and move on. Okay, good. But there you go. The Mica and the Mini Pyrite. Another little mini Chody Foster. The, uh, what is this? The Striga. Matsy Design Striga made by Best Tech. Talk about a Chody Foster, dude. Look at that guy, huh? Focus. Focus, you dirty girl. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Bolster lock. Full titanium bolster lock. And it's, what, smaller than a mini pyrite? Yeah, it's smaller than a mini pyrite. Little guy. Little pea shooter, Bob. Love this thing. This is like my go-to uh, little utility knife right now. I love it. Snappy action. Great detent. Ergos are money. Like, when you choke up, easy four-finger grip for smaller hands, all you see is blade. There's nothing else to see. Look at that. I'm fully, I'm fully wrapped and tucked. Pinch grip, you bet your tits all day. It's a great knife. Highly, highly recommend that one. Hello? Fook! Sorry, I can't stay tonight. Have a great night. Fook, do so. You're going to miss all the fun. I need to grab the horsey sauce. Can't live without it, baby. Can't live without it. Let's talk about this knife. This is uh, Arby's Horsey Sauce. Best of the best. One of the greatest sauces ever, de ever devised by mankind. If only the Striga was a button lock. That'd be... <laughs> right, Paul? Yeah, Paul, right? Let me just slop up my uh, Arby's real quick with some Horsey Sauce. Hello? 1.5 years... Feels like I just started my membership yesterday. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. Tinkly Bell. Ian, love you, boo-boo. Love you, honey, boo-boo. Let me grab a bite of this Arby's right quick. Oh, yeah. Fart. 21 months. You're an animal. Two months I basically did start yesterday. But it doesn't, dude, it doesn't feel like two months. It feels like yesterday. Oh, you don't get the big bell. You haven't earned that yet. You haven't earned it yet. You get the tinkly small one. Alrighty. We gotta keep moving, kids. Got a couple knives from uh, uh, Tactical Keychains. These are awesome. All American made magnetic uh utility knives i love these they come with these little damascus blades that are adorable absolutely adorable love them if you haven't checked out tactical keychains kara has a link and a discount code on her instagram if you don't follow her uh excellent ergos on instagram she's got a discount code and a link save you some money but these are so nice these are like my go-to pouch utility knives slap them in the pouch love the stormtrooper one obviously Love those guys. Moving along. This is a clone. I can't remember who sent this to me. One of you did. A long time ago. Uh, this is a clone of a custom that uh, you can get on Amazon. But I gotta tell you, 
it's delightful. I forget what anything about this. I think it's 14C, and I think it's real titanium, pretty sure, and it's like 23 bucks. I can't tell you anything else about it. I really can't. I don't know anything else about it. But it works, you know. Gotta tell you. Another little Chody Foster. Put that in the Chody Foster pile. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking Grail territory, kids. Buckle in. Look at that. Huh? Look at that guy. I forget what this is called. The Yuru? Earl! With the five gifted, baby. What the hell? Where's the big bell? Earl! Love you, Earl. Can we get some shouts out in the chat to Earl while I take a bite of Arby's? Thank you. <laughs> Delish. This is the Boker Yuru, which is like an updated, pimped up version of the mermaid. I think the Boker mermaid is still the ultimate holy grail. But, but this is close. This is a close second. Assisted. Let me roll up the sleeves again. How did I get... I got horsey sauce on my sleeve. By the way, those sound effects, that's going to be me in about three hours. Those are me in the future. Assisted flipper. Look at that blade. Huh? Look at this. You talk about quality. If we're talking about craftsmanship, if we're talking about pure sheer elegance we can't skip over the boker magnum yaru or yuru and the boker magnum mermaid because they are god tier the woman has actual nips you can see them please don't flag me youtube please god jesus don't flag me i mean we're talking this is top of the line josh Dad, mom, enjoy your Arby's. Thank you, son. Your dad and mom will be very happy for the next three hours until it hits our lower intestines. And at that point, it is a ticking time bomb. And we will both surely die on the toilet just like Elvis did. Sweating, alone, but it'll be worth it, my friend. Josh, thank you, dude. Holy shit. But yeah, I mean, this is, this is the holiest of holies. We all agree. Uh, moving right along, a couple of sacks couple of sacks, baby. The uh, the crazy uh, Stormtrooper one that Honey Bear gave me at Maker Syndicate, and I love this. And then this is one that I've had for years, so much so that I broke the tip off and had to sand it, uh, excuse me, sand it off on a belt sander. A little safety blade. A little, little butter knife. A little butter knife boy. I've had this thing forever. It's literally a butter knife and a can opener. Like, that's it. And a, and a bottle opener. That's the only purpose this tool serves to me. So there you go, a couple of sacks. Sack it up. Switching gears completely. CGRB frack. Big Daddy. The there he is. There he is. Let me hear it. Here is some help for the shipping on the 10k giveaway. Dad, mom, enjoy your Arby's. Son, what, what can I say? What can I say? You're one of the good ones, huh? Why can't your brothers be more like you, Josh? Huh? Why can't your brothers be more like you? Huh? They're little shits. All of them. All 192 of them. Josh, where's my gong banger, dude? I need a legit gong banger for this. This is serious business. Aha! Joshy! There you go, my friend. Thank you, dude, so much. Thank you for dinner, seriously. Me and Kara had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for, for dinner. That was our dinner. <laughs> so this is... This is life changing, honestly. This is gen genuinely life changing. So, <laughs> everybody's really sad now. Like, Dad, what the hell? <laughs> Mom, Dad said bad things. CJ, love the blade shape, love the profile. Frag stainless, bunch of different handle materials. They uh, they come in um, S90V and full tie for under 200 bucks too. Nor Jones? Oh my god, Nor Jones. No, that's Noah Jones. That's Nor's brother. That's Nor's brother. So there you go, the frag. My very first Chavez. Very first Chavez, the Liberation 229. Look at her. Would you behold 
Behold her grace, her beauty. This is before they made the stupid pocket clip change. Things an absolute thumbnail destroyer. D tense violent. This is the G10 one, the cheap one. Oh, that D tense. Savage. It's a beast, man. It's a beast. The memberships were for you, and this honestly is for me. <laughs> aubergine, 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 aubergine. Ah. Well, they. <laughs> Thank you, Earl. I hope you enjoyed that, man. Thank you for the 590. Where are my tiny bells? Tinkly bells, Earl. <laughs> yeah, the Liberation 229 G10. Honestly, if you're on the fence about getting a Chavez, don't feel pressured to get the full titanium one. Get the G10 one. Save yourself 30, 40 bucks. Get the G10 one. I promise you it's just as good. And if you hate it, you, you saved yourself 40 bucks. You know what I mean? I love the Liberation and G10. It's a banger. Heavy texturing on that G10. Feels great in the hand. Action's dynamite. Everything's amazing. So, if you're on the fence about it, Chavez, pick up a G10 one. Save yourself some save yourself some bones. Uh, another CGRB button lock, the Space Cowboy. Not my favorite. Probably my least favorite uh, CGRB button lock, which isn't really saying a lot because I love all their knives. Uh, really, honestly. Uh... So, I still love this. It's just not my fave. Ferrum Forge design, button lock, really clean, tight, feels great in the hand. Action could be better. Spring tension's not quite where I want it, but it's still a great knife all around. Woo! Dude, this is going to be a hell of a stream. Jesus Christ. Uh, Katuo. Uh, what is this called? The Triad? The Katuo Triad? We'll probably kick this into the 10k giveaway, or we'll hold on to it to the 11k giveaway, since we have so much shit for the 10k. Um, this is a dynamite knife. Great knife, snappy action, cuts like a dream. My only issue with it is it's absolutely massive. Like, here's a, here's a uh, size comparison for you. It's too big, man. There's a pair of three. It's got like two and a half inches on the pair of three. Yeah, no, I'm just... You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. I love the action on it. It's just too big for me. And uh, since Ketuo gave this to me, you know, might as well share the love. Spread the love, baby. Here, don't stuff. You can't afford new clothes. God help me. My daughter goes to her first dance this year. Oh, God. Casey, I'll be praying for you, brother. Thank you so much. Tinkly Bells, man. Oh, this is the Kamasu? Well, there you go. Same thing. Same thing. Hold on. Look, what do I know? I'm just a knife reviewer. Finally, in this row, a little guy. The, uh, the Vostid uh, Mini Nightshade, Axis Lock. This is the one I said was better than a Bug Out, and I stand by that. Great action, great acoustics. Makes a nice ting-ting, cuts like a dream. Ergos are dynamite. Everything's great about this knife. What are these, like 50 to 80 bucks? They have, like, pimped out, plumped up versions in different steels. They're like 150, 200. I don't fucking know how much they are, but they're affordable. Love the mini nightshade. Highly recommendable. Of course, the Ultim PP Pair 3. Uh, scales courtesy of Blade and Carry. Thank you, man. This is just an old school black coated S30V version of the Pair 3 with a deep carry clip that I got on Amazon for like a nickel. Uh, and I love it. I love it. That's my size comparison knife. You guys have seen that a million times. Uh, okay. Okay. Next row. That's it for that row. Let me put my little chody fosters away. Oh, you can't see the drawer. There you go. Huh? What do you think about that? I know you guys like looking at my drawers. Stay out of those drawers. Holy shit, dude. There's no way we're getting through all this. This is why I did this on a live stream. Because I knew there's no way we're getting through this in... Three hours. And I do not have a full day to dedicate to making a collection overview video. Uh, um, 
we have a bunch of stuff here that you guys have recently seen. The big uh, Corvid M Plus. We're giving that away for 10K. The uh, the little Best Tech QQ. The QQ. You guys have seen that. Nothing new. You know, talk about a Chody Foster. There you go. All right. Uh, we have the clone mini glimpse. The uh, freaking, uh, what is this? The, <laughs> what is this thing? The uh, icon pocket knife with ball bearings? I don't know, dude. But there's that. Uh, we got the pimped out arc form, courtesy of Pocket Sex. The arc form slim foot. Pimped out, plumped up in all its heavenly glory. Did an amazing job. It's on skiffs. He added thumb studs. It's truly a work of art. Like, to, this is my Banksy, right? This, to me, this is my Banksy. Nothing will come close to ever topping this knife in my collection. I can't imagine. I can't imagine anytime soon, anyway. I love the Slim Foot. Highly recommendable knife. Got the OG Nimble. The OG. This is the third Nimble ever made. First production run, uh, serial number 003. It's still great. Action's amazing. I've never had it apart. I've never done anything to it. It's still just great. Still cuts like a dream. Love this knife. I'll never get rid of it. Again, third knife ever made. After Hours Jack. Of course. I just reprofiled this. I totally forgot to tell you guys. I got the um, Precision Adjust Pro that I bought off uh, Tyler Williams. Amazing. Game changing. Highly recommendable for 250 bucks. If you're looking for a sharpening system, get one. It's mind blowingly good. Anyway, this is the Kieranite After Hours Jack. Just reprofiled it, slapped a, a polished edge on there in like nine minutes. Cuts like a dream. Love that thing. Couple of loners you guys have already seen. Uh, another arc form for you. Arc form theory. There you go. Uh, one of the most slept on knives of 2023. Arc form theory is amazing boxy blocky but really thin and light cuts like a dream nice tall flat grind i love the way it looks it's just a clean knife i just i really appreciate it i like the noise it makes i like the way the action feels the detent's delightful it's delightful all the way around uh there you go vostied raccoon we'll see like 10 more of those today this is the new aluminum frag version so there you go anything about that Great knife. Makes a good noise. Cuts like a dream. I've been making a mess out of it. Whatever. It's what, that's what knives are for. Uh, we got this guy, which is still my most viewed video on YouTube. This is the CRKT Minimal X. Little pea shooter. Could it be better? Yeah, sure. Uh, I really want to check out one of the full-size ones. This one's just too small, even for me. Even for me. I know it's surprising. I know it's, bl I know it's blowing your mind right now. But even for me, this guy's just a little too small. Access to the lock bar is non-existent. But as far as CRKT goes, it's really not that bad in the grand scheme of their lineup. It's delightful. Whatever. It doesn't suck. Uh, that's it for that row. So back in you go. God help me. I have too many knives. All right. We're getting in deep now, boys. We're, we're in deep. We're in deep now. We're getting into some oldies but goodies. We're just going to bust a bunch of them out. Just go through this whole row. Two rows, actually. Why are you out? Go on. All right. Is that every... Nope. Got to get the freaking... Oh, baby. You know what that is. Jot Singh in the house. Look out. Feeling frisky. Feeling... Let me get a bite of Arby's before we go, in, go any further. Oh, yeah. Arby's was the move, Josh. Thank you, man. Uh, Cole, which, which one'd you get? Would be cool if you mentioned if it was gifted to you by the company. Um, uh, everything from Katuo was given to me by the company. Everything from Vosteed, almost everything from Vosteed, like half and half. Vosteed's half and half. Um, the art forms I bought with my money. 
most of the CGRBs are that you've seen. All of the CGRBs you've seen already were given to me for review. Uh, the EMP I bought, the After Hours Jack I bought, the Spiderco I bought, the uh, Forest I bought, the Rayot was given to me, the East Meets West, uh, the Concepts were given to me. 99% of the stuff that gets given to me, I end up just giving away to you guys, so it is what it is. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, and the, the fact that a knife is gifted to me doesn't change, doesn't sway or change my review on it by any means, right? I need you to know that. The energy sauce is right here, baby. There she is. The secret sauce. We, I bought this one. Uh, I bought this one. I pre-ordered it from Blade HQ and then canceled that pre-order because they took like six months to fulfill it and it came in stock on another website. So this is the black on black mini malice. I had a full size malice many moons ago and it was stolen by the post office. A postal worker literally opened up my package in transit, stole everything out of it and replaced it with garbage. So that was fun. Uh, I love the mini malice button lock. I think it's delightful. One of the last good Wii knives ever made as far as I'm concerned. Fight me in the comments, I dare you. This is one of the last good Wiis as far as I'm concerned. It just is. Uh, another one I bought. The Touch Knives Click. This is a Best Tech production knife, and it's a dual action automatic, and I think it is the damn cat's pajamas, pal. So it's a it's a manual knife. I can reverse flick it, runs on bearings, thumb flick it, you know. Little pencil, little thin needle point, little knife. Kind of girthy, got some girth to it. Um Show us your wienar. You wish. You wish. You dirty girl. <laughs> so, like I said, it's a it's a liner lock. Action's great, you know. Uh, access to the liner could be better. But, it's also an automatic knife. Uh-oh. I forget how to do it. Help. There it is. <laughs> there it is. It's an automatic knife. Boom. All day long, dude. So, it's a, it's a side-open automatic and a manual folding knife. Super cool. These were really expensive when they came out. They were like 350. Listening and lurking while I finish up this S tower for you. Couple of minor spicy details I'm gonna surprise you with. Oh. Happy 10K again. Ah, dude, Parker, love you, man. Thank you so much. Uh, 17 months, my friend. Thank you, dude. All the love. If you guys don't already, follow Parker on Instagram. Very talented modder. He's, you'll see some of his work later in this but uh, the Click Sick, I think these are on sale at PVK. They're badass. Uh, and they're great people. They do insane custom knives. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, freaking Shabazz loves touch knives. And I do too. We got my one and only Pena. Real, real quick at the top of the hour here. My Pena Raptor. Oh, gee, this is when the Raptor first came out. Just plain Jane. Bead blasted. Bolsters. Brown Micarta, Hollow Ground M390, made by Rayot. Love this knife. I just adore it. I adore it. It's tiny. It's fidgety. It cuts like a damn dream. And it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. It's so simple, so clean and elegant. So old school, and yet this we have this, like, freaking raptor talon for a blade. I just love it. Bro, sweater looks snugly. Tyler, let me tell you something, Chief. The Roger Federer, uh, 2011 Wimbledon edition. I think I paid like $120 for this when I was a senior in high school. You believe that shit? Like a jackass. But I love it. This is a 13-year-old sweater. And it is still in top-notch condition. Even though I played tennis in it, I beat the hell out of it. But there's the Raptor. I love it. Here you go. Here's a little something. Something spicy for the, for the ladies. The boot knife. This is the other Rough Rider that I was talking about. It sucks. It's damn adorable. It's a good gift. These are like $12 or some shit. I don't know, man. But, uh, yeah, there you go. I think uh, the Beard of Doom gave that to me. So shout out to the Beard of Doom. Little boot knife. Oh, yeah. Limited edition. Getting into the Protex. Protex Runt 5 in Aluma Bronze. This is one of 40 of this knife ever made. One of 40. I think it was a Blade Show West or Blade Show Texas release when they first announced this. This was the very first batch of Protec runs ever done in Aluma Bronze. And this has a hand-finished mirror polish blade on it. 
And it is a true freaking mirror, dude. It's unbelievable. I forget who the name of the guy that does their custom grinds is, but he does incredible work. It's got that decorative inlay on the push button. But this is one of 40 ever. And this is my run. You want to sell that Pena? Never, Cole. I love that Pena so much. I'll also never sell this. I mean, this is one of the first ever made. One of 40. The first ever Rump Fives. Pretty cool. Yes? What was that? Oh, of course. Can't leave that out. Kara's... I forgot Kara keeps a lot of knives in her office, but... Yep, there you go. The Rump Five. I love it. Another Pro Tech. The, uh... The Strider PT Auto. This is the little guy. Um... Not the big boy. Here it is next to the runt. You guys know how small the runt is. The PT, the baby PT, is not much bigger than the runt 5. It's a little guy. It's a little pea shooter. Great knife. Heavily textured. I bought this off a guy on Instagram before I even had a YouTube channel. I've had this knife for like three and a half years maybe. Three plus years. Sick knife. Big fan. Nice texturing to it. I'd be up to selling this. But this is the only thing I own that resembles a Strider. Uh, great, snappy little EDC knife. Killer action. If you like Striders, you know, the PT's good. I don't even know that they make this size PT anymore. Do you guys know? I think they only do the PT+. Plus. How far away are we from the McNeese? Uh, Probably two plus hours. We're two hours away from the McNeese, pal. If you need to take a nap, now's the time. Moving along, Spyderco, the PPT. We're going from the PT to the PPT. This is the one with the titanium coating on it. One of the coolest discontinued Spydercos ever. Acid Test Kids, what's up, man? Love you, dude. Thanks for hanging out. One of the coolest looking discontinued Spydercos, period. Uh, uh, Perrin Design, a French designer. It's a full titanium frame lock with scales over top of it. So if I pull these scales off, the knife would still function perfectly fine. It is a thick as fuck, full titanium frame lock, huge cutout for the lock bar, and I just love the profile. And the Ergos, that full flat grind. These are S30V, they did a sprint run in S90, I believe, but it feels great. Looks cool. Ultra Uber deep carry clip that is a one-off for this knife only, which is pretty cool. I would love custom PP scales for the PPT, and I've asked Jay Dizzle to do them, and he won't do them. So can we all bully Jay Dizzle into making me piss scales for the PPT? Thanks, Jay Dizzle. Love you, man. Running on washers, made in Taiwan. It's a banger. Love it. MBK, Mini Old Guard Warney in ZDP 189. Belt Satin, stainless, uh, uh, the Stonewash Titanium Scales, Inset Lock. Love this guy. Little pea shooter, broken insanely well. They've like mastered the buttery smooth frictionless washer action over at MBK. Big fan of that little thing. It's like 67, 68 HRC on that ZDP 189, which is just absurd to me. I'm so down, Rawhead. Bully Spider Co. into bringing back the, uh, the PPT. It's a banger. Here you go. This is a special one. All right. This is, this is real special. Okay. Listen up, kids. This is the first ProTech I ever bought. It is beat to shit. This is my Emerson CQC7 Tonto push button auto. It is going on four years old. It's got to be getting close. Um, it is just absolutely beat to... Look at the blade on this thing. I have beat the hell out of this knife. I used this knife, uh, a lot of you have heard this story, to completely strip linoleum off of my 100-year-old hardwood floors in this house. Me and Kara had to do all that by hand. And this is a chisel ground Tonto, so this ended up being the perfect tool for the job. The perfect tool. Not, like nothing, I bought razor blade scrapers and they would gouge. And I bought like paint scrapers and they wouldn't quite go in deep enough. They weren't sharp. That sounded kinky. They weren't sharp enough to get the job done. This was perfect, dude. I stripped, fuck, 1,200 square feet of linoleum off a of hardwood with this knife. And it's still solid. Still solid, still hits like a truck. And I still love it. I'll never sell it. 
Um, another pro tech, the Malibu. We got we we all got to watch that emotional review the other week. Uh, was that last Tuesday? This is the this is from the very very first production run of Malibu's ever made. I got the very last one at some rinky dink little website. Um, there's no markings on the there's nothing there's it's just barren. It says uh, PR one number two hundred eight on the blade spine, but this is the very very first production run of the Warney ever made by Protec, which is sick. So I'm very happy to have that. It was two Sundays ago. Uh, it's a great knife. It's still a great knife. Back when I was first learning how to sharpen, I tried to reprofile this, but I didn't know that Protex edge bevels are uh, uneven. So one side has a huge edge bevel, nice mirror polish on it, and the other side has a little tiny one. What are you going to do? So I fucked it up. Ergo, I can never sell it. And it's the first run ever, so feels good. Feels good. Uh, we have my last and only remaining sharp by design, Brian and Brian and Doe knife. And uh, I love it, the Mini Tempest. Front flipper. This is the black on black drop point. It's very dirty. Tri-State. Learn to clean your knives, dude. What the hell are you doing? It's got some kind of semen on it. Some kind of cr uh, creamed corn, perhaps. Not sure. But there you go. Murdered out. Carbon fiber inlay. Love this knife. Love this knife. Whoops. Great. Feels good. Super clean and stream, uh, streamlined. Very streamlined design. The uh, Mini Tempest. It's a banger. I approve. Speaking of Protex, I'll, ne I'll never ever sell. This is the Magic Whiskers BR1. Boom. This is the super secret bolster lock. Uh, nice saber ground 154cm blade. Heavy stone wash. Massive ultra deep carry pocket clip. I love Protex pocket clip. Uh, so this is a hidden release side open auto. The way you open it, there's no buttons on it, right? There's nothing going on here. Nothing new, nothing crazy. There's no button though. So this is a good knife to take to parties and tell people like, yo dog, here, you need a knife? Here you go. And you hand it to them and then they're like, how do you open it? What the fuck? And they get real mad and it's everybody laughs. Ha ha, it's very fun. Um, but you just push this bolster with your thumb that way towards the spine and it pops right open. Super smooth. One of my smoother Protex. Love this knife. Love. One of the sliciest Protex, too, out of the box. I bought this secondhand, had a couple scratches on it, um, and now I've used it and abused it a bit, so is what it is. We got a gift from one of you guys. I think Tyler Williams sent this to me. I'm not sure exactly who did, but this is the... Uh, oh, no, this is where I'm going to forget. What is this called? The... Uh, the... Uh, Boost Blade Smoke 2.0. M390, full flat grind. Thin, gentleman's, like futuristic gentleman's carry kind of knife. Do you have notes for all these? You're going off memory. Memory, zero bytes. I don't have any fucking notes. You think I had time to put notes together? It's all off the dome, baby. I might know a thing or two about knives. That's my, like, autistic superpower, is knowing a lot, uh, like, knowing about my knives. I may not know about all knives, but I know about my knives, right? The smoke, yeah, 2.0 is a banger. Um, the customs are really cool. I'd like to check out his customs. But titanium frame lock, carbon fiber, show side scale, real thin, slicey blade. Front flipper. Longer than I expected. That's what she said. Uh, but a nice one. Very nice knife. Hold on, I need another bite. I need, I need more beef in my body. You know what I'm saying? Oh! Rhythm with the tism, baby. Hit him with it. Hold on, a little bit of go juice. Woo! I'm losing the sweater, baby. We're dropping it. We're dropping it like it's hot. Capiche? Getting all hot and bothered up in this bitch. I need nicotine, too. Uh, next up... The Jason Grant Gripper, the Brass Brigade uh, Grant Gripper, the OG with the black backspacer, stone washed, hollow ground warning made by uh, Best Tech. It's funny that to me this knife 
uh, is kind of a, a marker in Best Tech's history. This is when I really started to pay attention to Best Tech's OEM work. And uh, I've been blown away ever since. It's just gotten better and better and better since this knife came out. Spine whack it? I'll whack your spine, pal. I know you'd like that too much. I still love this knife. I don't give I don't give a rat's hoo-ha. I love it. It's a tank. Beautiful warning on it. Um, the action's still amazing. And I just, it's so clean and aesthetically, it's such a mirror image. Like, the blade's a mirror of the handle, and I, I, don't, I don't know. I just love this knife. It's very important to me. Uh, and again, I think it's very important in Best Tech's history as a knife manufacturer. Because ever since then, their OEM work has just skyrocketed. So, I don't know. I think everybody looked at the gripper and was like, oh shit, Best Tech can make some knives, dude. And they are right. And they sure shit can. Um, this is my one and only lightweight spider coat. This is, uh, I've talked, I talk about this all the time. I don't get it out very much. Um, this is the Spyderco Manix 2 Lightweight in S110V. I've had this for three years now. I love it. I have not changed it. This are, these are the old lightweights. They're riveted together. Wire clip. S110V. I have never had to reprofile it. I've never had to re, like fully resharpen it. I've had to hone it and strop it a few times in three years. But this has always been my go-to. Like, if we get new furniture and there's a ton of thick boxes... For three years, this is nine times out of ten. This is the knife I'm I'm reaching for. The action's great. It's broken in really well. Super snappy detent, and it's a banger. What can I say? It's a Manix too lightweight. Speaking of bangers, yo Jimbo, with those custom uh, original goat scales. This is just plain Jane S30V. That hollow ground warning. The frag pineapple scales. Deep carry clip. Aluminum scales. So the noise is absurd fuzzy kittens what's up man how far are we in serial hobbyists we're still on the first drawer <laughs> there's about 50 knives per drawer plus the box so uh, it's 100 200 300 so we're like maybe f uh six of the way through and we're halfway through the stream anyway the yojimbo 2 everybody should own one Another spider co. This is it, baby. This is the holy grail. You think the Boker Mermaid's the grail? No. You're wrong. You're dumb. You're an idiot. This is the spider co. Jotsin Kolsa. Oh, baby. VG10. Made in Seki City, Japan. This is my only Seki City knife. I spent way too much money on it. It is the most awkward and absurd knife ever made. But I love it. I've met Jotsin Many times, at least twice, many times. I met him twice. Let's not get too excited. I met him two times. Uh, and I, uh, he's a very nice dude. He's a very a very sweet gentleman. But there you go. The uh, Jotsin Kolsa, the Spartaco Kolsa. It is this channel's mascot, and I am proud to own it. Moving along! We're, we're done with drawer one. Well, no, we're not. Here you go. Here's the uh, Amsler Hurricane Razor 2049 with the uh, Tritium insert. Love, very nice, yeah, ooh, yeah, ooh, wow. Here is the Gen 2 Baltic Blades Angus, Gen 2, love that. Here is the Baltic Blades Angus Gen 1 with the little poon on there. Very nice, yeah, everybody, ooh, ah, yeah, I know. Uh, this is the Anso, is this Anso? An Anso Custom in an ulti clip with an ulti clip on it. The uh, Sagaiha Urban EDC and so scalpel, I can't remember what this is called. The starts with an A. Don't remember. But sick little scalpel knife. Love very much. Pricey, but it is a custom. What are you gonna do? Uh here's Bally Saw. Little little trainer. Whoops. Yeah, the Astra. Thank you. Kara just called it out. The Astra. Little squiddy trainer just for kicks and giggles. Why not, dude? Pretty fun. Uh, Tactile Knife Co. Dread Eye Fixie. Great. Banger. 199 bucks. You should all have one. You have no excuse. There's a link down below. You're welcome. Uh, Tactical Everyday Dad Grizzler. Another great EDC fix blade. American Made. Magna Cut. Uh, no, this one's 10 of 10, and this one's S45VN. Ted, if you ever want this back, just call me, dude. I'll send it back to you. 
Love this knife. Love Tackle Everyday Dad. He's a sweetheart. He's a peach. Here's another one. Bought this one. The, uh, what is this? The Mini Kermode. With this aggressive full flat ground magna cut blade. The uh, Mexican blanket micarta. Little guy. Little pea shooter. Jimping way out here at the end of the blade. Love this thing. Big fan. That's the one that took my finger off, by the way. Fun fact. And we got this guy. The Rizzler. Hit him with the Rizzler, dude. This is the Riverstone. The Grissom Riverstone fixed blade. Which is sick, and I love it. It's American made. You should all own one of these as well. They're very affordable. 160 bucks, maybe. Comes in a very, very nice leather sheath. Pretty badass. Ah, forgot. We're still in the first drawer, by the way. Slip joints. We gotta talk slip joints. Let me put all this away. God, Jesus, Lord. Whoever, whichever one of you talked me into this, you owe me, like, six months worth of $5 donations. However you want to do it, however you want to, you know, spread it out. Spread it out over six months. Spread it over a week. I don't care. But you owe me big time. Let's get through these. Let's get through these, kids. Everybody relax. Everything's fine. Let me get a bite. Let me get more beef. That'll make me feel better. I needed some beef. Take the Rizzler to the Sizzler. <laughs> hey, boy. Lucifer the Knife Degenerate? Lucifer, if you're not subbed already, can you sub just so your name pops up on screen? Thanks, bro. Oh, no, we got hiccups coming in. Oh, God, help me. Help me, Tom Cruise. Woo! All right, we're good. Chew louder. Okay. We'll do. First off. Tactile. By the way, all of these are in Northwoods Leatherworks Co. Slips. I highly recommend them. They're the tits. That's as good as it gets. It's as good as it gets. Tactile Knife Co. Friggin' bear, baby. The PP bear. We're, we're hitting... We got the PP, baby. We got some PP in here, finally. The PP bear. The thinnest, lightest knife I own. Like, I don't think anything else comes close. As far as, like, a usable EDC knife... Nothing else comes close. These are 199 bucks. At least the titanium versions are. You know? Can't recommend it enough. Weighs nothing. You will run it through the, the washing machine, the laundry. I guarantee it. I've done it twice, and it's fine. Uh, this is my newest Jack Wolf. I just put a new edge on this with that sharpening system. Uh, and I found a, a flaw with the sharpening system that I'm kind of bummed about. It's very dirty. Hold on. Found a flaw with the sharpening system. It scratches the fuck out of your knives. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. You're not going to be able to see it. Can you see that line? It, it's like one. Th it's like one third up the height of the blade from the edge. It's clear as day to me, but there's this huge scratch that goes all the way along. And it's from the, the magnetic table clamp thing for smaller knives. Anyway, that's the uh, Feel Good Jack. I love it. I probably used the system wrong. Don't judge me. I love this guy. Slicey, thin, full, full hollow. Makes my makes my pickle. Pff, shut up. Uh, this was the first Jack Wolf I ever picked up. This is the laid back Jack. I bought all three of my Jack Wolfs off of uh, Left EDC. Again, full hollow M390 S90 V on the feel good. It's a banger, dude. What can you say? What can I say? Old school laid back Jack. In the Northwoods Leatherworks Co. Slip. This was the second Jack Wolf I ever owned. This is the Venom Jack. Very similar to the laid back. It's bigger. Got a nice swell here on the back of the handle. Again, full hollow, taller blade, M390. Feels great. I love these knives. They make me happy. Uh, they make me happy. And uh, the Ohio River Jack. Because I gotta have it, baby. I gotta have it. There you go. 
Ohio River Jack, TPK exclusive, C. Risner, Ohio boys. I was born and raised in Ohio. I grew up on the Ohio River. So I had to get an Ohio River Jack. Had to do it. Again, in the Northwoods Leatherworks Coast Slip. It's a thick knife, but still love it. There you go. Those are my slippies. I'm going to slip those bitches back in there. And we are going to move along. New drawer. Found some curly fries. You guys want some? Here, you hungry? Oh, yeah. Whoop. New drawer. God help me, dude. If I don't make it, just know I did this for you. Okay? Still got the sauce, baby. Yeet! Guaranteed, that landed in my chair. 100% chance I sit on that and it fucking explodes later. 100% chance. Mom? Dad? Alrighty! Zoom in, full effect. Get a nice shot of my groin there. You're welcome. The steeples! I'm the police! I need to comp- I need to confiscate most of these knives. To prevent jailhouse time, I suggest you comply. <laughs> All of it spelled wrong. <laughs> All right, sorry. Yes, officer. Anything for you? Uh, Victorinox. Uh, fuck. I don't know what this is called. Got a nice deep carry clip, but it's in a horrible position. It's also left-handed, which is really annoying. It's a left-handed liner lock. Uh, it's very sus, but it's nice and slicey. Uh, it's just a nice, simple folding knife, tip down only. But it's got that built-in toothpick and tweezer combo, baby. With that belly button, dude. <laughs> It's a fine knife. It's nothing to... I wouldn't go spend my money on it, personally. At least not a left-handed one. But it's useless. Um, QSP Phoenix. Kind of a slept-on QSP, man. I, I Clearly, I have beat the living piss out of this knife. It's covered in goop and shit. Uh, probably just shit. Like, fi actual feces. But it's a great knife. Thicker than a damn snicker. Big as shit. Long boy. Long boy. Talking long boy. Heavy. G10. Stainless liners. D2 on the blade. But this is my gardening knife. No lie. I just threw up on my cat. You're welcome. Uh, these are available. These are really cheap. 50, 60 bucks. The Q nay, these might be more now. I don't know. Uh, but the Phoenix is a cool knife. Phoenix is a cool knife. M-Tech. We got an M-Tech on our hands. MT1022. This is the God tier MTech. It's a functional manual flipper button lock from MTech. Hollow ground, USA design. I mean, we're talking top of the line materials here. Aluminum. Actually, I'm pretty sure the scales are stainless. This thing weighs like six pounds. Cut them Arby shits down to size. Gotta do it. Milan Laid, what's up, man? Good to see you, man. Man, 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 man. Check her out. Absolute god tier, man. Can't beat it. Uh, we got two versions of the Bistekman Dundee. We got the full size. Also covered in schmutz and shit. Because I beat the hell out of my budget knives. Great knife. Affordable, lightweight, thin and slicey. Fun to fidget with. Then I have the mini in pink, of course. Same story, just smaller. Great knives. Both of them are great for the money. I think this is like 45 bucks. Hey, Tristate, was wondering if you'd like to adopt me as your son. You know, so that, that way you can put me in your will. The benefit of having me as your son, you ask? I'm 38 with my own apartment already. <laughs> well, I mean, when you put it like that, I'd be stupid to say no. I'd be a fool to say no, Vishvats. Good to see you, man. We got another uh, crossbar lock raccoon. This is the sheep's foot. This is my preferred variant of the raccoon is the crossbar lock sheep's foot in my carta snappy as can be great action super fidgety love the sheep's foot excellent edc slicer carries well cuts well 
zero complaints. Vosti link down below. You should all have a raccoon in your collection. Whatever version you want, go buy one. Another Dylan Mallory design. Do you like wet bread? Lots of tip-down knives. Dude, I've, you got to think, what we're going through right now, my budget knives, some of these I've had for six, eight plus years. I've had these for a long time. You guys wanted the whole collection, you get the whole collection. This is a uh, CGRB Centros. This is the limited edition in S35VN and carbon fiber. This was a gift from one of you. Uh, you know who you are. Thank you so much. I think it was when I hit 1,000. It was like somewhere between one and 5,000. Somebody gifted this to me, so thank you so much. Might have been Honey Bear. I don't remember. But it's a dynamite knife. Great budget knife. Thumb stud. Long pointy boy. Cuts like a dream. Made by CJRB, of course. Then we have the mustache knife from Novelty Knife Co. Don't know what the actual name is. Just the mustache knife is what we know it as. Another tip down only. Assisted. I did add the coffee can studs to this one. Because why not? Because why not, dude? Northwoods EDC, I just got a gone because of you. All I can say is thank you. You are so welcome. It's an absolute bang. You get to see my gom here in a little bit. You get to see mine. I'll never get rid of it. I love that knife. Oh, well, unless I get desperate, which I am now, so you never know. Anyway, the novelty <laughs> knife. Thanks for showing us your collection. Great fun, and thanks to the generous folks who give memberships. Tinkly Bells, one minute. One minute, been here for six months. Thank you, dude. Uh, Kubi G10 Atlas. Not my favorite Kubi. The D10's a little soft. This is a, uh, over a year old. And the heat treat and the factory edge on this 14C blade was not the best. I've not had the best experience with it. Um, this is one I'd, I'll probably reprofile on this new sharpening system to see what I can get out of it, just for kicks. But it's a fine knife. I like the shape. Jelly Jerry design. Gets the job done. This is my first ever manual button lock. This is the Tangram Vector. It's on washers. Oh, it's got schmutz on it too. Oh dear, I gotta learn to care. I gotta learn to clean my fucking knives. Jesus Christ. Oh dear Lord. Uh, aluminum scales. Stamped pocket clip. It's simple and basic. Tangram was for, uh, founded by a bunch of guys that left Kaiser. Um, and now Tangram is no more. I think tan the, the tan didn't the Tangram folks go off to make concept or am I, is that wrong? Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, I love this knife. It makes me happy. I bought this while I was waiting for the, um, Protec Malibu to come out. And I feel like, yeah, a lot of you got this as your first button lock. These were like 30 bucks. $30, dude. Can't get shit for $30 in 2024. But three years ago, you get a banger. This knife's a banger, still to this day. 440 Akudo takes a stupid edge. Is this a bad decision show? You know it. But there you go. That's the first row in the first of two budget drawers. Oh, my back. Oh, this was a mistake. Who'd, whose decision was this? Drawer number two, baby. Oh, Opinel. We got an Opinel has entered the chat. Opinel has entered the chat. God help us all. It's got some Devos in this one, baby. All right. Okay. Whew. You can get a Happy Meal for $30. Yeah, dude. Story of my life. Oh, you hungry? Hope you're hungry for nothing. That's my life. If I could eat knives, I'd be a very fat, happy man. Oh, yeah. Curly fries, baby. Opinel. Oh, yeah. Do you like that? You fucking like that shit? Huh? My fucking knees, man. All right. Here you go. OG. QSP Penguin. In D2. Uh, Mind-blowing action. On Foster Bronze Washers, 20-some dollars. Bought this ages ago. Mind-blowing action. These are the standards. This is the kind of action I want out of a Chris Reeve. Chris? Christopher? Papa, Papa, Papa Reeve? Give me this kind of action. 
I'll buy all your knives. I'll buy every version of all your knives. If if Papa Chris could pull off this kind of action on Foster Bronze, I'd give him a little reach around. Give him a kiss. Give him a big wet one, too. Penguin's a banger. Everybody knows that. Speaking of bangers that are just god-tier budget knives, Kubi Tidious. I forget what the number is. K-U whatever. But the Kubi Tidious. When I bought it, it didn't have a name. It just had a number. Uh, I got the black on black one. People call it the budget areas. I gotta tell you, it's it's incredible. It's such a great knife for sixty bucks or less. Zero complaints. Now they have the nice titanium versions. I've had this for a year or two now. The KU three two two. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, I mean, the Kubi Tidious is kind of a must have budget knife. Honestly, the Penguin and the Tidious bangers. Um, here you go. This is the. Oh, Kaiser Mini Towser K. The Mini. Um, hello? And it is broken. I just broke it. <laughs> what? Hello? It's broken. The plunge lock is jammed. Well, that's fun. Uh, anyway, this used to be... <laughs> this used to be one of my all-time favorite budget, uh, or just button locks in general. And now it's a floppy mess. <laughs> I'll fix it. It looks like there's something, like, jammed in the plunge lock. Don't know how that happened. Uh, but it's still a great knife. The mini towels are K. I, I'll fix it. Everybody relax. It's a floppy fucking shit mess there. Okay, you you sit there. We're, we're not going to talk about you anymore. Uh, this is the, an Opinel number... Fuck, I don't know, dude. What is the number on this thing? It's orange. Enox. I don't know. It's one of the Opinel. It's, it's an Opinel. What do you fucking want? What do you want from me? F's in the chat for the broken uh, towels are K. R.I.P. I'll bring him back to life. I'll resuscitate. In the meantime, keep that sick, nasty Opinel, dude. I hate it. It does nothing for me. I just wanted to buy one to experience it. Because at the time, I had been watching a lot of Metal Complex. And his, like... Just pure, raw hatred for Oppenels made me so curious that I just couldn't help myself. I think it was wrapped in on a bundle deal. I bought some other knives and this came with it. So, it is what it is. It's orange. It caught sandwiches pretty well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a six, Tyler. Pretty sure. We got a Remet or a Pickled Blade Works if you live in South Africa. Uh, don't remember the model number or name on this, but I gotta be honest with you. Whatever brand they put on this little AliExpress knife, it's solid. I got, I, look, they sent this to me for review, and I was expecting less than nothing out of it. Less than nothing. Uh, no, it's, it's actually great. Super snappy, cuts like a dream. Pretty sure it's D2 on the blade. Hello? Hello? Mini Tempest Tour Dawn V2. Ooh. Are the, is the price about the same? Can you even buy a Mini Tempest right now? Are they even in stock? Are they? I don't think they are. I would say Mini Tempest, but I love them both. I don't know, man. Flip a coin. That's a tough one. Anyway, the Remay, insert name here, future me. Um, this, <laughs> this is from... Stat Gear. You guys may know Stat Gear. They're the guys that do the little tiny keychain samurai sword knife. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, you, know, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Well, they decided that it would be a good idea to get into like the full size knife world, and they just did an absolute dog shit job. Uh, this one's the good, the good one of the two that they sent us. They sent them to Kara to uh, to post pictures on her Instagram. And she never did because they were really bad. Uh, it's just a very boring, plain, flipper only, not very sharp, not very slicey, 
AliExpress budget knife that Stat Gear slapped their their logo on. Um, it is what it is. I don't recommend it. I don't know what it's called. Don't buy one. Simple as that. Now then, best tech baby. One of the best budget best techs ever. This is the best tech Ascot. This is the very first knife I ever owned that I that had like true guillotine drop shut action. It just closes. These are like 80 bucks. D2, big freaking knife. Big knife, full size. Like if I choke back. Beautiful belt satin on there. It's great. Nice fine tooth jimping on the blade spine. Ascot's a banger. Shout out. Uh, one of my all-time favorite front, front flippers right there. The, uh, the, whoops. Whoops. The Real Steel Metamorph. This I'm pretty sure this is the only Real Steel I own. The G3 Metamorph. O-Stop Hell Design. 14C. One of the first knives I owned in 14C. Maybe the first. Uh, I really want to check out the new button lock versions of these. Yeah, the best tech was sent to care as well, not to me. FYI. I'll try to make it clear whose knives are whose here. They're not all mine. But uh, I love this knife. I love the Metamorph. It's timeless. It's a dynamite budget gentleman's carry. Excellent clip. Everything about it. It's a banger. Uh, we have t uh, three Devos to finish up this row. The version one. This is a super early prototype um, that I think was made... It wasn't made... Who made these? Was this Kubi? Pretty sure Kubi made the, the final production versions of the Growler. This was a really early prototype from, uh, I think, Shielded Knives, maybe? Um, and Lefty gave that to me at Blade Show 2022 to review. Um, and the knife came and went before my review was done. But I still love this knife. I have beat the living shit out of it. Don't know if you're going to be able to see all the damage I've done to it. But it's covered in schmutz and scratches. It's just all kinds of jack. There you go. You can see all the crap. Look at all the scratches on that, man. Uh, it's still a great knife. Even that being a super early prototype. And then, of course, I have the Gen 2 Growler. Love. The Stormtrooper Gen 2. Just an all-round dynamite EDC. Love the blade shape. Love the size. Fit and finish is banging. Big fan. Carries well. Looks good. And then another Pony Stout. This is my Pony Stout. Love very much. Little cutie patoot. Before the nip arrived, this was this. So my fate, my list for Devos was the, the Growler, then the Pony Stout, and then the uh, the Buzz, and then the Lush came out and it pushed everything around. But uh, there you go, Pony Stout. We'll be giving one of those away for the 10K giveaway. Moving along. Oh, my feet hurt. Oh, they don't feel good. I'm so fucking flat. Dad, is that you? I'm trying to make a cool front flipper collection. Any suggestions? I've already got a booze blade and the gom. Oh, Civivi Exarch is on sale. I'm pretty sure it's getting discontinued. The Real Steel Metamorph, highly recommend. Amazing budget front flipper. Um, we'll get through some. As I come across like some really good front flippers that I love, I'll let you know. Uh, but there's a lot of them, trust me. Trust me. Trust Dr. Tri-State. He knows a thing or two because he's seen a thing or two. All right. Third row. This whole drawer is really wacky. It's a bunch of old knives and stuff I don't really carry anymore. It's all stuff I could very easily sell tomorrow. Not really lose sleep over. Everything but this. The uh, Best Tech Strelit. I love it. <laughs> It only opens at a 90 degree angle, but one of the more useful cardboard destroyers in my collection. It's like a little Wolverine Claw. A little Wolverine Claw, dude. Look at that. Talk about Ergos, Chief. Fight me. I dare you. I'll gut you like a pig, boy. Tell you what. Great knife. Love it to death. We got a Gonzo. Uh, this is basically a giant Axis Lock version of an Ontario Rat, and it's a Gonzo. They sent that to me uh, for review. I did not buy this with my own money. But I gotta be honest with you, up until the Vostead Axis Locks, the best Axis Locks on the market came from Gonzo. Without question, don't argue with me. It's the truth. It's the it's a fact. It's a it is a, it is an actual fact. 
Real life, actual fact. Capiche? These had the best, like, pseudo-assisted, super snappy axis lock action. Uh, you can ask a lot of people. We did a podcast where we were talking about um, how Gonzo's had such good action on their axis locks. So there you go. I don't recommend buying clones or copies, but, you know, they're like $12. Who cares? Tucson. This is the first Tucson, man. The Tucson Bronc. The TS-207. Tepe design, S90V. Pretty sure this was one of my very first knives in, in uh, S90V. Love. Big chonky boy. I need to send this out to get real thumb studs added. I've had bolt-ons on it before. Nice warning on there. Chonky contoured. I mean, for like 125 bucks, not a bad knife. Not a bad knife at all. So there you go. The Bronk. Kaiser Original. Getting in some button locks here. Kaiser Original. Does it pass the test? I gotta be honest with you. Sure does, Chief. Not the best. Not the snappiest. Uh, cuts great. Carries great. It's very unscary. I like the color a lot. I like the green, the dark green. Fine, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, speaking of fine, this is the SE Knives Zancudo, which is a stainless frame lock. It's like a collaboration between SE Knives and Ontario Knives. Um, if the lockup on this thing is about 112%. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Focus. It's The lockup's so brutal... Oh, that you can't even disengage it. The action's horrible. Uh, but it's a really nice blade. D2, full flat grind. BRK, uh, R1. Don't even know if they still make these. This was originally tan. I dyed it green. Um, it has this weird system of stacked washers. It's like uh, phosphor bronze stacked on top of nylon or Teflon or whatever the hell. Anyway, the action blows. It's whatever. I've had it forever and ever and ever. Uh, speaking of knives I've had forever, Tangram, Santa Fe, love this guy. I lost this knife in my couch for like six months and didn't find it until we got a new couch. <laughs> so fun fact for you. Uh, it's great. Again, uh, I freaking love Tangram. I wish they would come back. They did such great work. Uh, 440, Akuto Steel on these. Just a simple, clean, kind of sheep's footy style blade. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Just a super thin, super lightweight, slicey knife. And I love it. Makes me happy. Uh, another great axis lock. The Roboto. Roboto? Roboto 2 from uh, O-Knife. Think They've given me a lot of knives to review. I think this is the only one I've kept. I've used it a lot. A lot. I've used it quite a lot. Um, I don't know, I like it. Of all the O-Knives, this one spoke to me. I like the Sheep's Foot, uh, 154 CM. Pretty sure these are made by Kaiser. Just based on how nice their Axis Lock action is. Just feels good. Aluminum scales, stainless liners. Great little knife. Uh, one of, I think this was my first ever Kubi. This is another one that was originally tan. And I dyed it green. This is the Anteater. I don't remember what the number is. Because again, I bought this three years ago. Um, this is another one that had that kind of drop-shut action that rocked my world. I didn't have any knives prior to this that, um, that really kind of ripped my tits off in the action department. This is another gardening knife for me. Uh, the QSP Phoenix and this one are great gardening knives. I highly recommend. It's fine. It's a fun knife. Kind of a pain in the ass to sharpen it being a hawk bill, but it's a big boy. Big old hook boy. I like it. It's fun. Uh, this was my first ever push button automatic. At least my first ever like legitimate push button automatic. Uh, the Boker Mini Strike in uh, Desert uh, Desert Warrior. I almost said Desert Warrior. Desert Warrior. Aluminum scales. D two on the blade. Whoops. D two on the blade. Don't worry. It just landed on the. Uh, it landed on the Gonzo. It's all fine. Everybody's fine. Uh, great little knife. I don't have any complaints, really. It, it, it served me well, you know? And then I bought that, uh, Protec C C7 right afterwards, and I never carried this again. But there you go. The, uh, the Mini Strike. 
Bought that off Blade HQ. That, I'm pretty sure this was the first knife I ever bought off Blade HQ too. Pretty positive. Great action. It's really thick behind the edge. I've had to reprofile it. I tried to put a mirror finish on it. Didn't work too well, but it gets the job done. Uh, and finally, out of this row, uh, old school artisan, the artisan cutlery tomahawk, the mini tomahawk. Uh, which is a wonky ass knife. This is when I was learning how to freehand sharpen. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the edge on this, the edge bevel's like six miles long on both sides because I could never get it to take an edge. It's got a scary edge on it now, but I lost like a quarter inch of blade height trying to sharpen it. It's a fine little knife. It gets the job done. This blade shape's not for me anymore, but I was really into like cleavers at the time. At this point, at this period of my collecting. Access to the lock bar could be a hell of a lot better. But this is old school Artisan. This is back, I think this is before they had split. Because Artisan was doing super cheap budget knives like this. But also high end stuff. I don't know that CGRB was doing anything worth talking about at this point. I don't remember. But there you go. And that is it for that. Oh god dude. There's no way in fucking hell I make it through this. Without blacking out. There's no way. Yeah? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I know. No, I have one. Yeah. She's asking if we have a Clydesdale. Oh, you... Oh, Kara was going to buy one. Hell yeah, dude. I love the Clydesdale. Absolutely. And that's a reminder for everybody in the chat. You should go buy a Clydesdale. Here it is. Kara was about to buy one. Hell, I mean, fuck. If, if we have one, we might as well have two. Shit. <laughs> Everybody should go buy Clydesdale. It's a banger. 125 bucks. No complaints. Made by Kubi. Zero complaints. Eat more meat? I'm fresh out, dude. All I have is three... Three uh, curly fries. All right, last row. Oh, look at that. Ian, if you're still here, check them out, dude. Yeah, boy, got the Milwaukee's. We got the Milwaukee's. Uh, and the Ryobi. Oh, baby. And some brass. Some of that classy brassy, baby. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee fastback. Oops. Drop point. Button lock and liner lock. It's a button lock to open. And a liner lock to close, it makes zero sense to me at all. But it does have a hollow grind on it, and it's a relatively decent steel, I think. I don't remember. But the fastback, I mean, no complaints. No complaints. And then we have the uh, the real fastback that everybody should own. The most useful knife in my collection. Util utility knife, fidgety, manual button lock that you just kind of whip out, like the uh, Elementum. And then we have a wire stripper right here. We have a bottle opener right here. Yeah. And then we have a flat a Phillips head screwdriver that turns into a flathead built in. And storage for extra blades back here. Hello? It's the most useful thing you can, a man can own. Uh, we got an OTF, a little pea shooter. The Axial Knives Dart. Love it. A little pea shooter money clip, Tonto, Chode. Absolute showed. American made with love. Banger. What are you going to do? Crispy donut. Got a little donut action. Got that crispy donut uh, community Hanson. Pretty sure they're sending me the, the new premium Hanson. Uh, I love this knife. Nice hollow grind. I forget who makes this. Kubi, I believe. QSP, maybe. I don't remember. Uh, D2, G10 with the funky sprinkle pattern on it. Nice jimping. Nice texturing, solid ergos, cuts like a dream, no complaints. Fidgety, fun, all that good stuff. We have the Ryobi, which has seen better days, clearly. Uh, oh, it's seen better days. But this is the compression lock Ryobi. It's a compression lock. It's like a backwards compression lock. Uh, action sucks, but it's another utility knife. You just press this button right here, and it closes. Ed, what did you miss? I don't know. Not that much. I gotta tell you, if I had to pick between the Ryobis and the Milwaukee's, I'm going fastback all the way. 
We all know the Fastbacks, the Holy Grail. We all know it. Uh, Boker Lancer in brass. This was a Blade HQ exclusive, I believe. Had a lot of issues. Uh, Serge Panchenko design. Had a lot of issues. It was discontinued pretty fast. Um, Lockup is not secure. The lock bar is way too thin and flexible. Had a ton of issues. What am I? What am I saying? But I still like it. It's very blocky, boxy, but it's super thin. Got nice weight to it because of the bronze handles. Um, when everybody in the knife world was kind of leaning towards copper, I was a brass boy. I was a brass boy. It was all about that brass. You know what I mean? It's a fine knife. I got it to take a decent edge. Uh, some more brass. Uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive. Mini Arkeo. Another Dylan Mallory design. I love my fat back. <laughs> On bearings. Nice little flipper. I had a full size in titanium of this a long time ago. I sold it. But I kept the mini just because I love Dylan and I love his knives. The Arkeo is a sick, sick design. Surge Pancakes is a solid maker, man. Old pan, old Pankaku. Pankaku, Pankaku. D2, brass scales, stainless liners. And this is the Mini Shark from Artisan Cutlery. Uh, these were, I, the reason I have so many of these brass knives from uh, Smoky Mountain is they were on sale for like $20. Yes, it's very stinky. Stinky! Very much so, Josh. But the action's fine. They're both flipper only. What are you going to do? Uh, this, another Victorinox. I guess this could kind of count as my first nice slip joint. This is the Swiss, uh, the Victorinox gardening knife, or the gardener's knife. Sh uh, sheep's foot style blade. Freaking little green handle. No half stop, but nice and snappy. Absolute laser beam. It's technically a chisel ground, um, it's a chisel ground blade. It's made for, like, sp Playing plants in twine, I guess. But it's always been nice. I don't really use it in the garden, but I'm sure it works fine. Neville Sinu, what's up, man? Uh, we got a Kaiser Mini Sheepdog in CPM 10V. The 10V is very soft. It's like 56 HRC. But I have to tell you, reverse flick action on the Mini Sheepdog liner locks is absurd. It's so good. Thumb flick's amazing, but that reverse flick, bam, gets me going. Gets me all riled up. Action's great, closes, nice and smooth, ceramic bearings, CPM 10V. It's a nice knife. I like the mini Sheepdog. It's kind of the only version of the Sheepdog I really like. You know, what are you going to do? That's the only version I like. It's, it's just my size. Anthony Kitchen, what's up, dude? Uh, this is a Stedman ZKC... CO2, which is a fucking mouthful. Uh, it's in 440C, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 440C. And I'm pretty sure it's got a mag magnets or counterweights in the um, flipper tab. I'm pretty sure they're just counterweights. There you go. Uh, but it's nice. Action's really good. If you can disengage the lock. Took a solid edge. 440C is a fine steel. It's just not all that exciting these days. But this is just an old-ass Amazon AliExpress budget knife from uh, days gone by. Woo! Jordan, kids. Jordan. Kabish. We did it. Moving right along. Cooking with gas. Only three more drawers to go. And then a big box. My legs are going to give out. And I'm going to fall asleep on the ground. You watch. You fucking watch. Oh, how's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? Caleb Hale, have I seen the new Sheepdog Nebula? I have not, no. I'll check it out, though. We'll check it out on the Thursday stream. Clear coat them to get rid of the stank? Nah, that's a lot of work on a $20 knife. 440 is the steel our dads swear by. Yeah, it's honestly true. It's very true. Kara with the with the hot tips, forty percent off pins at Levenger today. We between the the two of us, me and Kara probably have like six Levenger True Riders. Great everyday pins, and very pretty, especially when they're on sale. Good value for money. Um, all right, more budget knives. Jesus God. Oh, more budget knives. More budget knives. More. Budget knives. 
Holy. I'm just doing two rows at a time now. We just got to tear. We got to tear. We got to hit the road. We got to hit the ground running, baby. Holy shit. This is a lot. Oh. Okay. Ow. Pain. Suffering. Need some sauce. Kara, when Cole goes to sleep, all of his pins are 50% off. Hit me up. <laughs> Don't do it. No. Uh, first off, CJRB Crag. ARPM9, big old cleaver. The crag's a banger, you know. No complaints at this price point. Four, 50 bucks or less. Uh, it's a banger. What are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? What are you going to do, huh? I want to have a spidey hole added to this. We gave away a really cool modded one that Jay Dizzle did a while back. Tempted to send this out to Jay, see what he can do with it. Um, I was using this guy today, that's why it's got goop on it, but this is another Dylan Mallory design, the CGRB Hadros, not CGRB, Civivi Hadros, sorry, got some tape goop on there, but whatever, never hurt nobody, 10CR15 MOV, was pumped to see this, um, better than 9CR, because it's one more, that's all I know about it, but it performs really well, beautiful hollow ground warning, Real thin and pointy. Great for breaking down cardboard boxes. Big fan. Uh, we have the OG button lock raccoon. The lock does fail on this one, but it's the only Vossi button lock I own that the lock fails on. So there's that for you. Uh, still a banger. The V1. The V2s are better. The Gen 2, the improved ones. The raccoon is great. I have a lot of raccoons. Prepare to see a lot of them. Another Vosteed. The Vosteed, uh, shit, Corgi. Beautiful little symmetrical button lock, dynamite EDC, back flipper and a front flipper. Love the way they did the button on this one, like centered with the pivot. Like this show side is just so clean, so clean. Big fan. Uh, no, I did not blade a carry. Uh, ran out of money, dude. <laughs> YouTube pays at the end of the month. Uh, it happens. But, yeah, the Corgi's great. Uh, Vosti link down below. Here's another Vosti for you. The uh, Nightshade, the LT Nightshade, the big boy in 154CM. Uh, I use and abuse this thing. It's got stains on it that won't come off. What are you going to do? But I love this knife. Be a good one for a spidey hole, I think. I've caught a lot of raccoons. Never owned one, though. You ought to try it. As long as they don't have rabies. Rabies. There you go. Check her out. A uh, bunch of pyrites, too. You're going to see a lot of pyrites. Here's the XL, the pyrite, the large pyrite, the big daddy. Again, ARPM9. Highly recommendable if you have big hands, you want a big, fun button lock. I think between this and the crag, I'd recommend the crag first. It's just more interesting. Here. I don't know. The crag's just more interesting to me. They're about the same size overall. But, I mean, look at the crag. It's insane. Get you, get you a crack. Did I miss the Bellamy? Ian, I don't own a Bellamy. I'm so sorry to disappoint. I do not have one. But uh, yeah, the large pyrite. There's that. I also have a pink G10 pyrite. Love it. Pyrite's a banger all the way around. Zero complaints. It is the perfect budget button lock. Everybody should own one. Here is uh, my blade swapped stainless pyrite this was originally a pyrite warney but my pyrite warney blade is now on the ultim handles so this is belt satin blade drop point on the uh stainless handles so there's a third pyrite for you uh a few feldspars this was the first one i owned the large one cjrb feldspar love another dynamite like no zero complaints budget knife just a great user knife uh, the button lock version of the Feldspar, not so much a great user, nor a great fidgety button lock that I just broke also. Okay, that one's broken now. What's happening to my button locks? Apparently storing button locks like this breaks them? That one's broken too. What is going on? We're just break. We've broken two knives in two hours. What's going on out there? What are we doing? What the fuck? 
All right, well, there's the other Pyrite, and here is the mini Pyrite in S35VN in JG10. Pretty sure that was a Blade HQ exclusive. I love all three versions of the Pyrite. Uh, the liner lock versions are the ones you should buy. They've lasted a lifetime. They're dynamite, and they're dirt cheap. They are dirt cheap, and I love them. Uh, button locks is the devil. Don't break all my knives. I'm sorry. God, please. F's in the chat. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've broken two knives today. Uh, another great button lock, the Valkyrie with the Sayax, uh, Sax, however the fuck you say it, blade shape, thumb studs, back flipper, front flipper, dude, fidgety as can be, love that profile, love that blade shape, forget the blade steel, Nitro V on this one, not my favorite, Dana or Dave, David? Thanks for the good times, Mr. Mustache. It's a pleasure. David, Tinkly Bells, my friend. It's an honor and a privilege. Glad I could do all this, even if I'm even if I may pass away. Uh, but there you go. I like the Valkyrie. Another great budget button lock from uh, Vastid. Uh, here is the old school, really shitty Kubi Vagrant uh, in Oz Ten. It's not shitty. Like the action's really nice. The detent's really well tuned. But that Oz 10, even though it takes a really nice edge, it holds it for about an hour, and then it's dull again. And however they secured this hardware, it's permanent. I have snapped uh, T6 bits in half. Weehaw bits have just exploded trying to get these body screws apart. It is legitimately super glued together. So you get, get one of the new ones. They're really good. The 14C ones, they're really, really good. And you can actually take them apart. Don't get the old McThickums version. It's not good. If you see a Vagrant in Oz 10 and it's really cheap, skip it. Get the 14C one, pay a little bit more. Because this you're going to hate this. You're going to hate your life. Okay. Uh, Artisan Cutlery, Ahab. Loved this knife. Uh, I forget the niche designs. Niche designs. Look at this profile. It's so clean and so classy. This huge poon. Ahab. It looks like a fishing spear. That's what they're going for. And the scales are milled out to look like fish bones. fish Like a rib cage off of fish. Uh, way for freaking thin. Full flat grind. Super tall. Sheep's foot poon going on. Beautiful bejeweled thumb studs. Highly recommend the Ahab. Uh, such a great knife. And I don't hear enough about it. It's such an impressive little, little budget affordable piece of engineering. That you should buy just... Just for the fact that it's so well thought out. I don't know. I approve. It's just a very nice object, and I really appreciate it. Uh, this is more Warnies for everybody. Warnies make me horny. The Dam Designs Thin Rear uh, Stormtrooper. It's great. No complaints. Clean, simple. Warnie. Ergos are money. Deep carry clip. Uh, 154 CM on the blade. Damn near a full flat grind on it. Love the colorway. Carries like a dream. Cuts like a dream. Uh, and this is one of the newer ones. The uh, Vostied Chipmunk. Which is just damn adorable. A little chode. A little jade, jade colored chode. Comes in other colors too. Jade's not my favorite, but this is the one they sent me. Liner lock. Deep carry clip. Front flipper. Back flipper. Thumb studs. All the fidgety goodness you could ever ask for. Oh... Don't worry, kids. We're getting to the fun stuff soon, I promise. I promise. I can't believe I've broken two knives, dude. What the? What the? Whoopsies. Don't worry, that one's fine. Nobody, it's fine. Shut up. Ah! It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm just trying to... I have an hour to go through, like, another 150 knives. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. And when, when 11 o'clock comes around, I turn into a pumpkin, so... So, there you go. All right. For crying out loud, dude, my hands aren't working. I think I'm having a stroke, guys. I think the Arby's... I got the meat sweats too hard. The meat sweats are really kicking in. I can't believe you're not bleeding yet. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate that. Appreciate the vote of confidence, Chief. Oh. Woo! 
All right, this is the last of the budget knives. This is it. This is the end of the budget knives. Then we get into the good stuff. I do love budget knives. Obviously, they make up uh, half of my collection or more. Holy Christ, dude. I'm sore. My voice is sore. My feet hurt. Um, I think I lied to you guys earlier when I said that the Boker Strike was the first knife I bought off Blade HQ. This was the first knife I bought off Blade, Blade HQ. The Gerber Flatiron. Uh, and I have regrets. No one in this chat should own one of these. As, as interesting as it seems, and it really did seem interesting three years ago, three plus years ago. Uh, yeah, I bought this before I had a YouTube channel. It was the very first purchase I ever made off of Blade HQ, and I regret every minute of it. And I hate it very much, and no one in here should buy one. It's garbage. Uh, this is another Gonzo. I think this is the FH12. FH12 in D2. Absolute guillotine for like $14 or $15. Sure. Stainless frame lock. Simple drop point or straight back design. Nice detent. I mean, whatever. For 20 bucks or less, sure, go for it. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Speaking of hot garbage, here is a Frost Cutlery USA. F that. This. I don't know what this is. I don't, I don't remember which one of you sent this to me, but I will cherish it as long as I live. As long as I live, boys. I will love it with all my fart. I mean heart. Don't know what the fuck it is. It's horrible. I hate it. It's, it's garbage. Uh, moving along. I bought this. This knife is as old as Isaiah. Maybe not quite as old, but almost as old as Isaiah is, which is kind of crazy. This is a Smith & Wesson single action OTF um, <laughs> that I tried. <laughs> it's a faux dagger grind. And I tried to sharpen the back swedge and it just never got sharp. I swear the back, the swedge, is hardened better than the actual cutting edge. Um, but it's one of these crazy locks that you have to, it has like a built-in safety mechanism. And you have to like pull it back into place and the whole handle see-through. Then it has this safety switch that doesn't really work, only works like half the time. But I bought this at the flea market probably 14 or 15 years ago. Uh, and it still works. Somehow. It's still in one piece. It still works. I don't know how. Uh, you know. It, it's a thing. The Smith & Wesson HRT is what it's called. Don't know what that means. Speaking of hot garbage, it made me spit out the strawberry I was chewing. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome for that. Uh, got another Gonzo. This one's got coffee cans on it. This one's probably my favorite of the bunch, the FH41. I don't know. I just like the way it looks. Contour G10 scales. Real basic, simple uh, liner lock, G10 liner lock, stainless liners. Uh, I did add coffee cans to it for that reverse flick. And at one point, I put skiff bearings in this. And it was really good. <laughs> it was really good with skiffs. It felt like a $200 knife. Even though it's a fifteen dollar G ten Gonzo, so I'm a, a very, very honestly impressed by the FH forty one from Gonzo. Impressive knife. Um, Paul wants me to break more knives. Okay, I'll probably will by the end of this. This is the Big Daddy, the Brass Proponent. I think I got this on sale for like twenty five dollars. I've lost the safety pin for it. Don't know where that's at. It's just a giant, like three pound, Warney liner lock that has the most absurd action it like actually works somehow you can just you can just use it it doesn't make any sense it cuts really well for as i mean it's got like quarter inch plus thick blade stock huge baloney nip thumb studs giant money clip pocket clip it's so ridiculous but i'll be damned if it doesn't work the proponent's a good one for a laugh if you ever need a good laugh pick up a proponent you're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. Owns 169 budget knife. Doesn't carry any because they fall apart. <laughs> you caught me. Uh, this one I bought off Love Them Knives ages ago. Off one of his YouTube sales. This is one he had uh, 
steel tested because they claimed S35VN. And this knife was the very first, my very first titanium frame lock in S35VN. It was my very first titanium frame lock I ever owned. It's an AliExpress knife from a company called Defcon Knives. But it is real S35VN and it has a decent heat treat on it. The action's really good. You can pick these up on AliExpress for like $85, I think. Um, hello? Paul? Break another poopy button lock piss, boy. Keep them coming. <laughs> Tinkly bells, Paul. Will do. Will do, pal. Uh, I can't. It's called the Jungle Knife JK5311P. Good luck looking that up. Uh, but it's a nice, it's genuinely a nice knife. Blade stock's a little too thick. It's a little too shallow of a grind on it, so it's not the sliciest, but it works. Smells like a tech toe. Tastes like a tech toe. Must be a tech toe. Speaking of bangers, dude. The Savivi, baby. Savivi. Give me that Savivi. Thug Life. The Thug 2. Savivi Thug 2. Endlessly recommendable. Matthew Christensen design. Little pea shooter Chody Foster budget knife. Nitro V. Love it. Fidgety. Cuts like a dream. Compound ground Tonto. Little guy. Little pea shooter. Big fan. Everybody should buy one. Links down below. You're welcome. More Civivis. Civivi Chevalier. You've all seen that one. Button lock. It's fine. Fuller needs to be bigger. Blah, blah, blah. 14C28N. Uh, another Civivi. The Civivi Altus. Another budget button lock. Got a lot of button locks. In case you're wondering. Those were the horniest W's I've ever heard. W, W, W. <laughs> Flat grind, nitro V. What are you going to do? Uh, it's fine. I like the maroon, though. I think we should do more maroon knives. This is my horribly modified Best Tech Texel for the longest time. My go-to favorite uh, budget knife. Uh, Adam Purvis design. AP knives. Love the blade shape. Love This is my one and only banana knife, and I love it. I tried to add thumb studs, but I put the hole in the wrong place. Don't judge me. Don't talk to me. Uh, I still love this knife, so shut up, nerds. Here's a good front flipper, whoever was asking earlier. McKenna! Savivi McKenna! Elijah Isham Design. Brother Isham, wherever you may be. Love you, boo-boo. Uh, what are you gonna do, man? Just a great full flat ground, D2. Little warning, little front flipper warning. What's not to love? Another great front flipper, the Exarch. Probably my all-time fave. Front flipper only knife. Hollow ground, D2. Love the blue. Super clean closed up. Super minimal, clean aesthetic. It just tickles me. It just gets me going. Gets me riled up. You what? <laughs> I put the hole in the wrong place. You know what I did. It's a great knife. If you're in the market for a dynamite front flipper only knife, hollow ground, Civivi. Pretty sure these are getting discontinued, so grab them while you can. Uh, another Civivi for you. The Pintail, I bought this for Kara, uh, but it was really bad, so she doesn't really carry it that often because it's probably not safe to carry. Um, yeah, it's the Pintail. The other versions of the Pintail that aren't Damascus are really, really good, but the wooden Damascus one, this one in particular I got off Amazon brand new, or I bought this off NAF sale, is ass. The detent sucks, the edge that it was on it was ass. It, it's not great. It's a great idea. It was a great value. The S35VN one and the G10 Micarta ones were really good value for money, but this particular one is not that great. So there you go. There's that. Uh, speaking of not that great, it's a piece of shit. The LCK. Uh, CRKT LCK. Really wanted to love this knife. It's It was like $12 on sale, but uh, it broke almost immediately, and I was never able to fix it. I was never even able to take it apart. Because the uh, the pivot screw just stripped out into Oblivion. Uh, and I'll never get it apart. And I'll never be able to sell it. And I feel bad throwing it away because it may be used in a murder. What are you going to do? Chef Rocky, what's up, man? BD Swaim. Yeah, we're going through the collection, boy. Todd Knife and Tool Design. We'll see more of these like, these guys later. Uh, the Thwack. Todd Knife and Tool Thwack. Uh, made by Beyond EDC. Love it. Reverse Flick. Front flipper, front flipper, not a front flipper, back flipper. Little chody guy. Delightful little budget carry, deep carry clip. It's good. My card is on my card on it's nice. Here's another pyrite. What are we at? Like five or six pyrites now? There you go. 
That's my uh, blade swapped Ultim Pyrite Warney with skiff bearings installed, and it's magical. This is the perfect pyrite for me. Buttery smooth on those skiff bearings. It weighs less than a mini bug out. Uh, I love this. I love this knife. It's like my go-to user around the house. This is like my go-to sweatpants knife. And that's what I'm wearing nine times out of ten these days. Uh, moving along, another Civivi. The uh, S35VN version of the Badlands Vagabond. Solid knife. Access to the liner could be, uh, the, to the lock bar could be better. But hollow ground, S35VN. FRN scales. It weighs nothing. It cuts really well. Uh, we have a flipper. Hello, Kyle. Hello, my name Jeffy. Welcome to AD and D. L -l 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 Why was that so musical? Ah, la, 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 la. Tinkly bells. Kyle, love you, man. Thank you so much. Uh, if you're gonna get a Badlands Vagabond, this is the version you should get. The 8CR and 9CR version's hot garbage. It's shit. Don't buy it. The S35VN one's really, really good and great value for money. Um. Uh, Rake Knives, freaking P831SF stainless frame lock. S uh, or 14C 28N, full flat ground, kind of reverse Tonto warning going on. Banger, dude. Absolute banger. It's a single stud. It's probably my only complaint on this knife, is it's a single stud. Whoops. Single stud only is what it is, but it's a great knife. One of the. Uh, God, it's crazy how long I've had a lot of these knives, man. I've had so many of these knives for like two, three, four years. Long before I had a YouTube channel, which is kind of crazy. Uh, and finally from this drawer, more PP. Got some more piss for you. Yeah, Vision FG. Absolute banger. <laughs> One of the best budget knives last year. Top five at the very least. Definitely the best Civivi of last year. The second best was the Sentinel Strike, but this was the number one. Specifically in piss, obviously. So there you go. We did it, boys. We got through the budget knives. Huh? We fucking did. We did it, huh? Sheesh. Oh, I forgot to show you this one. Sorry. This is the uh, Kaiser Beglider 2. Oh my god, this one's broken too. No shot. No, this one's fine. No, it's not. Something's wrong with it. There you go, Paul. You got your wish. This is the uh, Kaiser Beglider 2. And it's acting up. It doesn't feel right. It's a banger. Everybody should buy one. <laughs> Even though it's probably broken. <laughs> Alright, this one's fine. This one has survived. I don't know. It just needed, needed to get thwacked around. It's like the springs are losing tension over time as they're laying in the toolbox. Does that make sense? I don't know. That's weird, dude. Freaking weird. I don't have that issue with my CGRBs. It's only been the Kaisers. Freaking weird. Huh? Oh, here's another one. This one's a clone. Higher end front flippers like 250 to 450 range. W. <laughs> Tinkly Bell, thank you, man. Uh, oh, we're getting to that, pal. Don't worry. This is a clone of a Launch One. I bought it off AliExpress for like $5.99. And it's genuinely really good. It's the only clone I own. At least the only clone I like that is obviously very much a clone. If you know what I mean. How did I fit all these in here? Don't quote me on that. That sounded terrible. How? Wait, no. Genuinely, how the fuck did I get all these in here? Alright, we're good. It's easy, baby. Alright. High-end territory. Holy shit, man. I'm fading quick, boys. How's everybody doing? Everybody keeping up? Everybody still alive out there? Oh, God. Ugh. Of course, we can't forget the little kitty, the little kitty cat. The little kitty cat knife. Courtesy of Renee, I believe. Renee sent that in. Or was this Paul? I'm pretty sure it was Paul. 
Paul's the one with the caps. I just dropped it. Ow. Oh, God. Everybody doing all right? Everybody still alive? Show of hands. Show of hands, please, if you're still alive. Throw out the clone launch one link? Nah, not going to do that. Not going to do that. Andy Flynn, yeah, only 215 knives left to go. This is where shit gets real, boys. This is where shit gets real. Spidey Chef, EMP, EMP, EMP. Uh, where are the other EMPs? I know I got more than three. EMP. Let's just do it by brand. Keep things fresh. Keep things fresh. Keep cream fresh. Keep things cream fresh. All right, we're just getting everything out. We're just getting them all out. Holy cannoli. All right. Okay. Can't breathe. Woo. All right, well, I dropped it. There you go, Bridgeport 395 uh, with horrible staining on the blade. Great knife, affordable, not exactly a high-end knife. Under 200 bucks. Highly recommendable. Great modding platform. Uh, Pocket Sex just gave one away. It was awesome. Uh, Devo Knives Buzz. High-end Devo. Made by Best Tech Knives. Absolute banger, dude. Hollow ground. Sheep's footy warning on this guy. Titanium. Liner lock. Uh, inset lock, I believe. Action's amazing. Got that top flipper. It's a great knife. One of my favorite Devos. They're all my favorite. It's hard to pick a favorite Devo because they just keep outdoing themselves. They just keep doing better and better and better. It's so hard to decide. So there's the Devo Buzz. Of course, one that I've talked about in length. This is my full hollow ground warm tack. Precision Knife Works USA warm tack. Uh, made by QSP 20 CV. Beautiful hollow grind on it. Gorgeous textured handle. Kind of looks like a mustache. That's why I love it so much. Detents money, actions money, highly recommendable knife. Um, we got the Katuo Griffin, which is a big old bolsterous, absurd uh, full titanium button lock made by Reich Knife. Picked that up at Blade Show this past year. Front flipper, back flipper, flicking hole. Great knife. Not usually my kind of style, but you know. It's just weird enough that I love it. We got a little bee shooter, a little chode on our hands. The mini, the the little native with the thickest damn scales imaginable. Uh, this is the black coated plain Jane S30V version, but um, it's got Alan Putnam white G10 scales on it because I was going for that stormtrooper look. It's adorable. Everybody loves a little native. What's not to love? We got that modded out mustache Spidey Chef that is disgusting. See, I use all my knives, kids. All of them. And that one's not coming clean, you dirty girl. There you go. Let me buff out my mustache here. There you go. Modded by the knife modders, Richie and Lindy. There's that stash. There it is. With the mustache. Black Cerakote. Gold anodized polished uh, mustache. And the uh, cross. What is this called? Cross bark pattern on the clip side. I love the chef. Everybody loves the chef, baby. There you go. Uh, this is a nimble... Uh, EMP EDC Nimble X version 2 with that hollow grind. It's when they switched to the hollow grinds, which was the move. This is the black on black. It's, dude, so good. So, so good. Detense money. Cutting performance is out of this world. Front flipper, back flipper, reverse flick. The Nimble X. It's the tits. Nimble liner lock. EMP EDC Nimble liner lock. Black on black on black. Uh, I did cross strip a screw on this one, but it went back together just fine either way. So there you go. Nimble liner lock. 
Uh, this is the MPDC Relative. This is a, uh, the early prototype that I had like six months before the knife came out. So this is a very, very early prototype. Shout out to John and Jamie. Absolute banger. Love that clip point style blade. Love the uh, compound ground kind of clip point going on here. Made by Best Tech. They did a great job. Big fan. No complaints there. The OG version 1 Thick Boy from EMPDC. Tri-State's junk drawer equals my grail vault. Yeah, I know, man. It's okay. I have a lot of I have a lot of time. I, I got a head start on you, right? When I started, it was one knife here and one knife there. But you do that con consistently for four or five years, and you end up with this. Talking on a live stream for four fucking hours about all your knives. Uh, the OG. The OG, man. Uh, I, these came out right around the time we were planning our wedding, which is very cool. I remember... Um, photographing a prototype of this while we were walking the property planning our wedding <laughs> while like my uh, while Kara and my mom were talking about important wedding stuff I was like roaming around taking pictures of <laughs> of a thick boy prototype so uh great knife the version two was the better version obviously but I didn't get one I just have my old v1 and I love it uh of course null knives voodoo do that voodoo the you do baby what the fuck are those scales? I don't know. I have a bunch of different scales for this, but I like the blue ones. Shut the fuck up. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Obviously, the voodoo. Love. Love to Sean. Definitely hope he's making more of these. I know the Raikou should be coming soon-ish, I hope. It's not the tumor. I, I, I promise. I, I, what are you doing? But there you go. There's that. Uh, Arcane, baby. Why is the V2 better? Show me the other scales. The V2X, Nimble XL. Is that what you're talking about? There you go. So, the reverse tux one, this one right here, is the version 1. It has a flat ground blade. The version 2 had a hollow grind. The, uh, otherwise, they had different scale patterns. And the version 1 was made by QSP. I can't remember if QSP did this or if Best Tech did this. I want to say Best Tech, but I don't remember for sure. But it has a different handle pattern on it. It's got kind of like that cross hatching pattern instead of the frag. Um, otherwise, relatively the same knife. This is the V1. So there you go. That checks the V1 off our list. There's the V1 Nimble X. There's the V2. Yeah, I got both. Shut up. Don't judge me. Um. Anyway, Arcane. Arcane Crawler. This was my first ever Arcane knife. And uh, I've been in love with Israel and Arcane ever since. Uh, I've been meaning to send this out for a regrind. I just haven't had the time or the money. But it's on the to-do list. I think this would look absurd with a hollow grind absolutely absurd made by best tech just i love it it's like an aliens warning and i love it uh we got the kumu chad chad alert hello chase lane thanks for the sub man the chad in pm60 at like friggin 69.7 hrc or some shit transparent knives just tested it and it's absurd stupid high numbers yeah chad's a banger uh, I wish they would use this steel on their frame locks, but maybe someday. Uh, Gavco Nurse, the only Gavco design knife I really like the looks of, and I'm still not in love with it. I need, I keep meaning to send this out for a regrind and some mods from Parker, but again, time and money, kids, time and money. This was a drop knife. Uh, I can't remember who made these. We maybe, but it's a cute little sheep's foot boy. Nothing crazy on bearings, little guy. The Gavco Nurse. Uh, we got the Devo Nip. Obviously. Just look at it. How do you not love this? How do you, how do you not love this? Yo, your Mike Tyson vape. It works well. I tried one flavor. Wasn't great. It started to sound like it had water in it. And then it went nuclear and kept running. Not had that issue yet. Uh, but that's terrifying. Been there, done that. It's fucking... I, you know what I've done when that happens to me? with It's happened with a, an older vape I used. I literally took it out back and hit it with a hammer. To make it stop. Probably not the smartest thing to do. But that was the only way I could get it apart. To un to disconnect the battery. 
I had to smash the case with a with like a sledgehammer. <laughs> and it was raining, and this thing's just spewing smoke, and I'm like, I, I'm gonna die. This is how I die. Vape's gonna explode in my face. Uh, Devo nip banger. No, no, no complaints. Slept on Spidey, the sway back. We talked about that kind of semi recently. Deep carry clip. Marcine Schleese design. Sleesh. Hollow ground XHP. Mine's got a bunch of scratches on it, I'm just now noticing. That's a bummer. Mom? Why are you so fucking dirty? Oi, clean it up. Damn, I got a bunch of scratches on it. <gasps> oh I use the hell out of this knife. I love this knife. This is such a great user. It just feels good in the hand. Feels good in the hand. Contour titanium. Taiwan. Uh, Taichung Taiwan. Beautiful stuff. Another Chavez. The uh, Sangra 229. The big daddy horny warny. Look at that thing. Look at this thing. Big old coil. Oh, just get up there with the... Get him with the pinch grip. Yeah, I feel so powerful. I feel so powerful. How do you taste it? Dumb question. Isaiah, there's flavoring in the smoke, so when it goes across your tongue, you taste it. It'd be, it's the same sensation as like drinking Welch's grape juice, except you're smoking Welch's grape juice. Does that make sense, Isaiah? It's a little pro tip for you. Don't get into vaping, kids. Not good for you. Uh, but yeah, this thing's a banger. Another one that demands a regrind. Like, look at that. I love it with that belt satin, that flat ground belt satin blade, but with a thin hollow... Look, Chief. We're, we're getting real frisky. Greg Vanderlip, what's up, dude? We got that V2 Jaeger, baby. This is the reason why I didn't buy a v, uh, V3. Because I have my V2 on skiffs. And uh, I beat the hell out of it. And I've used it. And it's still a tank made by Rayot. Brian Brown Knives. This was a grail for me for the longest time. And the markup on the secondary for the version 1s was absurd. It was just absurd. So when he announced... There was a, a going to be a V2 way back when I was all over that shit. And then it took like a full year to get delivered, but well worth it. I love it. Oh, God. Stay off drugs, kids. Uh, Devo Lush, the latest and greatest from Devo. Made by Concept. One of the greatest things Concept's ever done. No question about it. S90V, hollow ground, sheep's foot. Got that camo carbon, 80s camo carbon, deep carry wire clip, titanium. Bolster lock, actions money, cutting performance is great. Love the looks, love the lines, makes my PP hard. Moving right along. Artisan Cutlery Boa, another great front flipper. I forgot to bring up high-end front flippers that you might like. The Griffin, uh, there you go, there's one. Uh, the Devo Buzz, great. It's like a top flipper, has this like gear wheel top flipper. Um, what are the other ones? The Devo Lush, if it ever comes back in stock. It's got a nice top flipper on it. Big ball guy. Talk to me. Have to bail. It has been a great stream. Oh, you like that hair? You like that? You like that dandruff? <laughs> Tinkly bells, big bald guy. Love you, man. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I gotta tell you, the Clydesdale killer front flipper for 125. Amazing, amazing front flipper action. Uh, anything for me in PDC? The uh, the relative, the OG nimble, the nimble X, the nimble liner lock. Any of the any of the NPDC knives, great front flippers. Um, and then there's this, the Artisan Boa, dynamite front flipper. Got that poon going on. I just like the way this looks. Designed by a 17-year-old or some shit is, what I, is the way I understand it, which is wild to me. Action's great, cut's great. The looks aren't going to be for everybody, kind of that bent PP handle, but I like the way it looks. And here's another great front flipper, the Mini Barber. Wow, that sucked. There you go. Mini Bird Blades Barber. A little pea shooter. Kind of like Pena Knives size. Love this. This is my favorite user of the barbers. Is the little guy. Pull that thing out. Get down to business. Put her away. But a real nice top flipper. Flips right open. Looks wild. Gets me all turned on. Woo! NFK20, what up big pimpin'? Hope you're doing well, my friend. All the love. Alright. Moving along, moving along. Keep it moving, keep it moving. What do we got? 20 minutes? Fuck me, dude. This ain't happening. We might go over a few minutes. Ah! Oh, God. So many knives. Who let me buy all these knives? <laughs> 
Dude, these barely fit in here. What the hell? Jesus Christ. Ooh. Oh, baby. Akuchi Anax. Katua Telson. Some Protex. Something obscene. We got more PP. Got some of that. Got some of this shit. Take some of those. Give them some of that. Hit them with these. And a couple of them while you're at it. Yoink! Hit him with the pelvic thrust. And let's move forward, gentlemen, shall we? Fuck, my feet hurt, dude. At day. Ugh. Jay Dizzle, patience, my brother. Patience, my child. NFK, chin up, brother. You, we're going to get through this together. Live vicariously through me. Pretend my knives are your knives, NFK. Do you understand? We are one. We are together. All the love, my friend. <sighs> All right. Let's, let's get cooking. Uh, what do we have here? Our, oh, the Ari. The Ari. Kalem Blade Works, right? Kalem Blade Works, Ari, S90V. I think QSP made these. Super long, long boy. Uh, talk about a nice high-end front flipper at a great price. I think these are right at 200 bucks, maybe a little bit more than 200 Absolute lightsaber, dude. Cutting performance on this, even though it's a flat grind, is stupid. I also like the way they did the inlays on this knife. Very interesting. So it kind of operates, uh, it's very easy for lefties because it covers the lock bar on this side. Good stuff. Good stuff. The Ari by Kalem Blade Works. Or Kalem Design Works? Kalem something or other? Uh, Lucky Luke, have a seat, bro. I don't have any chairs tall enough, so. We got that reground Mordax, of course, with the thumb studs. Reground by BGM Knives. The acoustics are amazing. This this to me is is like bury me with it kind of territory. Like this is one of the few knives in my collection that'd be like bury me with it because I you know this is the kind of action and cutting performance and fidget factor and all that jazz that I look for when I'm shopping for knives and the style and the looks. I just adore it. I adore everything about it. So, you know, that is, to me, that is, it's not a safe queen. I use it and I love it, but this is like, take it to my grave kind of knife. And I love it. Makes me happy. Uh, we got that Magnetic Boy. Winter Blade Co. Factor. Ting. All the Ting Tings. Love it. Uh, here you go. I told you we'd see some of Parker's work later in the live. This is the full-size Kunwu Knives uh, towel. Uh, Parker added a spidey hole for me and then did the Stormtrooper Cerakote job on here and just did a bang-up job. He actually has my S towel right now for the same treatment so that they'll be matchy-matchy. But there you go. The modded towel. Damn near perfect. Just a perfect knife all around. We Another one of Parker's uh, mod work knives. This is the full-size frame lock barber. All right? And this has that crazy color-changing blue to green Cerakote job. I think it's called Northern Lights. This is the OG barber, dude. Absolute tank. It's honestly more heavy-duty than a Chavez. Also made by Rayot. Hollow grind. Absolute straight razor cutting performance. Aggressive in every way. And I just friggin' love the way it looks. Uh, Artform Saber. Artform Saber and Piss, one of them, another slept on knife from last year. The Saber and the Theory from Artform really didn't get enough love last year, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but I love this. I did lube this up recently, so that's why there's that black patches. It's the one issue with Ultim is when you put lube in there, it spreads. It spreads like a toxin, like a cancer. Uh, we got another Protec. This is the, another Magic, so there's no button. But this is the Magic Whiskers 2. Absolute beast of an auto. Love this thing. Um, massive. It's just, the whole scale is the lock. You just push on the whole scale. 
don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? There you go. Uh, lubed piss, Tom Glon. You know it, man. Hits like a truck. It's another fun one at parties. Nobody can ever figure out how to open it. Sick knife. They're it, pricey, but sick. Speaking of expensive Protex, this is probably my most expensive. The uh, Probably the most aggressive action, too. The Terzola ATCF uh, Auto in Magna Cut. This was, I think this was the first time that Protec used Magna Cut on their knives with that Ivory Micarta. Great knife. Expensive as shit. These are like $500 or some shit, but I love it. Got the uh, Ivory Micarta inlay too. Sick knife. Pricey. Uh, Katuo Telson. We, we all know I love the Telson with the Zerk inlay. Highly recommendable. 285 bucks. Full titanium. Some of the best acoustics I've heard in ages. Makes such a good noise. Telson's highly recommendable. Especially for the price. A uh, little, little Spidey boy, the Akuchi Koo. Can't remember which one of you gave this to me. One of you sent this to me to keep. I love the Akuchi. It's my go-to steakhouse carry. This little guy. It's a great little steak knife. Like, borderline flexibly thin blade. Absolute lightsaber cutting performance. Got this weird, like, flipping wheel on the back. That's how you open it. Fun knife. Fun little knife. Uh, the Reich made... This is another one that Parker did. Parker did the Cerakote job on this. It almost killed him. Uh, the Microtech Annex. I had him Cerakote this, uh, and a month later, they released the DLC version. So, there's that. There's that for you. The Annex is sick. I don't really pull that one out very much. I gotta be honest with you. I should. I really love this knife. I just think it's ridiculous and uh, makes me giggle. We got the uh, Hogue Decca Gen 1 with original goat scales with like the zombie blood splatter over purple textured aluminum. What can I say? It's a banger. Ah! Whoops. I flicked so many knives, dude. My fingers are going to start bleeding. Any <laughs> like, it's going to take two more flips and my fingertips are just going to start gushing blood. Uh, great knife. No complaints with the uh, DECA. The, the Gen 1 had too many screws, but what are you going to do? Uh, I did just reprofile this on the new sharpening system, and it's terrifying. The Alley P. It's legitimately horrifying. I'm, uh, I'm honestly afraid of it now. It is the sharpest I've ever made a knife on my own. <laughs> and it took like four minutes. <laughs> four to six minutes. Made by Best Tech. Some of their best work. Uh, these are available now on Blade HQ. Links down below. Alley P is a sick little EDC knife. Little guy. Ergos are great. Nice hollow grind. Good stuff. Like the way it looks. Like the way it cuts. Fosti Dotson, baby. Or worth every penny at 229-ish. What is these? M390 on that kind of warny reverse tonto deal going on. Full titanium. Incredible axis lock action. And a front flipper with an axis lock, which is a nice touch. It's nice. Huh? That's nice. You guys know how I feel about the Dachshund. Dachshund? Uh, we got the Big Papa, something obscene, on skiffs because I'm a psychopath. Don't know why I put it on skiffs. I just felt like it. So that's on skiffs now, and uh, I'm afraid of it. That's the something obscene LEK, L-E-K, all caps. Bought that at Blade Show this past year. So what made the sharpening system scratch certain eyes but not others? Drew, it, I'll show you. Even though we're running out of time. So the normal clamping mechanism's fine. It's this. This thing is magnetic and you just set your knives on here. But when you do that, there's an edge right here and it scratches the blade. Does that make sense? It's hard to explain. We'll talk about it on, a, on another live stream and I can like break it down for you. Another time. Another Ramey. The Ramey WD-107. Button lock. Highly recommendable, dude. They, they have like a killer heat treat on this M390. I think it's like 64, 65 HRC. Great action. Button lock. I love the way they've done the button too. It's this big square button. So it's super easy. 
to press, depress to disengage the lock. Ergos are nice, acoustics are solid, cuts really well. It's like, what, 150 bucks, maybe? Worth it. Uh, ABW, American Blade Works, uh, Model 1 Warney, in the piss. In the piss, in Magna Cut. What else can I say? If you're in the market for a very affordable American-made knife, you kind of can't really go wrong here. Yeah, in the future, I will use tape. I went in dry, baby. I went in dry. There's that. Uh, one of two F5.5s. Love the F5.5 from Urban EDC Supply. Insanely recommendable. Kind of one that everybody should have, or at least everyone should handle at some point in their life. Stormtrooper G10 M390. Feels great. Feels like home. And finally out of this batch, God, my feet hurt. The Canis, Spyderco Canis. With the funky anodized clip. I did that myself. Suck it, nerds. Canis is a banger. God, this thing's so good. Every time we talk about it, I end up carrying it the next day. Because I, I just always forget how good it is. So there you go. Moving along. Almost done with this drawer. And then we have one more drawer and a box. We'll talk about the grails. The holiest of holies. Show me your holiest of holies. Now. Oh, okay. There you go. I think that's all of them, right? These are my rock walls. I think it's all of them. Uh, this was the very first rock wall. I pre-ordered this. XHP on the blade steel. It's the flipper version, which I want them to bring back. The flipper version was kind of the shit. Love that. So that's the very OG number 213 ever made on the uh, very first run. The flipper tactile rock wall. Kind of a, a rarity these days. Then I went and I bought one of these in Magnica. And I it ripped my tits clean off. You yeah, know, they made the switch to Magna Cut. The acoustics. Oh, yeah. Great. So just the plain Jane tactile rock wall. Then I was feeling frisky. So I bought one of the golf walls when those came out. So I paid with my own money for all three of these. There you go. The golf wall. And it's also a banger. And I love it very much. That's These are my size comparison knives. I love them. Uh, and then, one of you, I think Tyler, or Anissa, somebody bought this for me and is way too generous. He was either Tyler or Anissa. Show yourself. You know who you are. Lone Star Tileboy, what's up, man? Junior Miz, how you doing? You're missing the orange one. Yeah, I gave it away, Junior Miz. Did you win the orange one? I got the, uh, the Deep Space rock wall with this beautiful Cerakote work. On that beautiful just a stunner work of art a work of fart if you ask me and then they sent me a bunch to review I am missing one I don't remember this is the stealth black with red hardware red accents and it makes a nice ting God, the acoustics are brutal. But there's the Stealth. I like the Stealth quite a lot. And then finally, for my birthday this past year, they gave this to me when I ran into them at um, Maker Syndicate. So shout out to Tactile. Love you, boys. They gave this to me to match my pin. My rock, my uh, Tactile Pinco. Tactile Turn. So those... Are all my rock walls. Will I get more in the future? I don't know. Do I need more in the future? Probably not. Do I even need six of them? Definitely not. Do I love them that much? Yes. Yes, very much so. So there you go. There's the rock walls. And then I have the deep space pin to match the, the knife too. I know. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah.
am I a sociopath? Maybe. Holy fuck, dude. I didn't know how exhausting this would be. That's wrong. Okay. Getting into some old school boys now. And some bench maids? Who would have guessed? Who would have thunk it? Oh! Home stretch, boys. Home, st home stretch. Stay strong. Oh. Stay with me. Apologies, I stay, I, uh, I join late. Do you still have the Herman you picked up a while back? Yes, we haven't gotten there yet. That's what's in this. The box that the fries are on top of. We'll get there. That's the last, that's the last box. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm really <laughs> fading fast, boys. I'm fading fast. Uh, shit. All right. Benchmade, Grizzly Ridge. The first Benchmade I ever bought. I paid $80 for it at knifeworks.com. Uh, and it was worth all of $80. And it was probably the last time I didn't regret buying a Benchmade. So there's that. The action's honestly really good. Cuts great. But it's this tacky rubber material that over the past three three and a half years is disintegrating so it hasn't aged very well but i still love it uh then we have the second benchmade i ever bought the benchmade mini grip tillion with the spidey hole i put some uh, applied weapons technology scales on there blue backspacer mxg deep carry clip it's a nice elite edc um and it was relatively affordable until i put the scales on it and all that stuff but there you go mini grip with the spidey hole the only way to do it uh art form catalyst the one i just got back modded by uh pocket sex and reground by uh, uh bgm it's an absolute tank and i love it very much art form should bring this back please daddy art form please spd mini evo uh nick's knives i owned a full-size evo for several years until i just recently sold it I like the full size a lot. But there you go. Artform Catalyst modded into Oblivion. We have the Wii Knives Roxy, the very original Roxy, the very first one. Todd Knife and Tool Design, little M390. Uh, it's a Wii in M390, which is kind of crazy because shortly after this, they switched everything over to 20CV, which is really stupid. Um, but this was the very first Roxy. It was this, then the Roxy 4, then the Roxy 3. Cute little, cutie little patootie. Little chode. Speaking of little chodes, this is the old boy. This is like the grail of F5.5's carbon fiber belt satin L-Max. This is the old, old, old L-Max version before they switched over to M390. Uh, and it's a banger. I've had it for ages. I way overpaid for it. I think I paid $400 for this. Maybe $375. <laughs> on on uh, knife, knife Swap or whatever the fuck uh, the Reddit page is. Uh, yeah, way overpaid for it, but I love it, and I still have it to this day. EMP, e yeah, I sold it to Will B, there you go. EMP EDC uh, T2, the Tonto, in the uh, honeycomb, in that honeycomb, baby. Compound ground, you know, it's just a great user. Love this size, love the fidget factor, love the action, buttery smooth, and with every iteration, they just keep getting better and better and better and better and better. So, highly recommendable. I know there's that new pre-order going on this weekend, Saturday, I believe. So, don't miss the uh, pre-order for the, the Nimbles, the Generation 3 or whatever. Um, this is the Wii Vision R. Uh, bought this at Blade Show two years ago, I think, 2022. What's the count? Good many knives we've seen so far. Yeah, I have no idea, dude. <laughs> Let's call it 50 per drawer and then another 50 in the box. So, a shitload. Uh, this is fine. The pocket clip's on the back spine, which is kind of fucky. It's got all the speed holes. I'm not in love with it. But it's super thin and it's super slicey. 20 CV on the blade. I do, however, prefer the FG. I prefer the CV version. 
you know I just do I just do fight me in the comments excuse me one second Um, we've already seen this one. You've already seen the Gen, the Gen 1. Nimble X Gen, Gen 1. Uh, Arcane. Arcane Pratheon. This is the more affordable version. G10 with the Jade Inlay. S35VN on the blade. Pretty sure these are made by Best Tech. Delightful EDC user. Delightful little liner lock. Cutie pat It's not tiny, but it's a great... Also, another nice high-end front flipper to whoever was looking. Dibs on the F5.5 uh, F, uh, CF. No, I'll never sell that one. And Only because I would feel bad selling it for what I bought it for. And I can't afford to take that big of a loss on it, even though it's been ages. Uh, my only Vero. The only Vero in my collection. Topo G10. This was originally a brass hand rub satin Axon liner lock. I put the Topo G10 scales on there just because the brass ones weighed a thousand pounds. Um... Action's great. Another nice high-end front flipper for whoever's in the market. Action's good. Cuts well. Um, I was actually borrowing this from Jason Grant, the guy that designed the gripper, and I scratched it, so I offered to buy it off of him because I ruined it. Uh, we got the Maverick S, made by Rayot. Matthew Christensen design. One of my favorite knives of 2022. Super tall, super thin hollow grind, M390. If you guys like the F5.5 at all, you're going to love this. It's about the same size. There's a side-by-side -side for you. This is just kind of a slim-down F5.5 with a super thin hollow grind. It's an absolute banger. If you see these come up for sale at a reasonable price, snag one. I don't know if he's ever going to make more. I know he's working on a bigger version, but I love this size. I adore this knife. Uh, another Arcane. Arcane Abyss, made by Rayot. Love. Beat the living piss out of this knife as well. Scratched it up. We moved into my new offices before I got fired. Uh, right when this got delivered. So this was my moving day knife. And I put it through its paces like day one. Really love the Abyss. Love the way this thing looks. Super aggressive. Mean. Compound ground Tonto. Rayon made. No complaints. Um, we got the old school uh, Fat Dragon slash EMPDC Slenderman OTF. Little needle boy. Little pencil boy. Kara says I'm not to go late. Alright, 11, 8, 11, 8, 11 is the cutoff. Damn, dude. Great. Okay. Damn. Uh, there's the Slenderman. Nemo Knives. Really cool OTF. Art form Slim Foot Auto. Made by Protec. This is the dark form. It's got lint coming out of it. There you go. Something's loose in there. That's fun. We Knife Co. Snacks Mini Buster. Love this profile. Really like the way this thing looks. Flat grind, a flat grind, multi-row bearings, something I wish we would do more of. Don't know why they don't use multi-row bearings in more of their knives. Obviously, they can source them at a reasonable price. Mr. Mr. Designs, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. It's delightful. It's delightful. Love the mini buster. Rayot Knives Bushido. Old. I've had this for several years now. I think somebody offered to buy it, but then never got back to me. Uh, it's basically half of that East Meets West knife we saw earlier. It's adorable. Then I have two smocks. This was the first one, Emerald G10. This actually has custom uh, smock s bearings in it. Like, Kevin Smock made the bearings in this knife. Uh, and it's great. He sent that to me when he saw my review. He's like, dude, your review was amazing. We're sending you a, a goodie package. So there you go, Emerald G10 Scales. And then this is the one Jay Dizzle put together for me. Uh, CPM M4, titanium hard-coated with the Jay Dizzle Custom Scales. Titanium in the cotton candy splatter. Love. Uh, ba -ba -ba, Vosti Thunderbird. I like it. You can hate on it all you want. I think it's a sick knife. I like the way it looks. We Knife Co. Practic. 
one of the this was the first knife I ever bought in M390 hollow grind love it I still love it cuts great and finally out of that drawer the Spyderco Mantra 3 which is basically a pair of three with, on bearings with a flipper. Really slept on little knife. If you ever see a Mantra 3, snag it up, man. They're Taichung Taiwan made, arguably better than the American made versions. Absolute lightsaber cutting performance. Big fan. Mantra 3 from Spider Cup. Alright. The last 20 or so knives, kids. Then we gotta wrap this up. You guys are gonna have to wait to see the grails. Otherwise, I won't be married the next time I see you. Why did you guys let me buy all these? Huh? Who who decided it would be a good idea? Like, let you know what Cole should get into with his uncontrollable impulse purchasing? knives let's get him into the most expensive ridiculous hobby that takes up all of his time <laughs> and all of his money let's do that let's do that all right last of the drawer leong ma fuel duty edc g10 monoblock construction full flak grind m3 or er, uh, full flak grind l max great knife makes a hell of a noise So there you go. Great, if not a little overpriced. Luft Concepts Avant. This is the original run. Uh, M390 hollow ground blade. Kind of like a pimped out PM2 kind of style going on. Uh, titanium liner lock. Flipper. Interesting knife. Beard uh, Bearded gear. This is bearded gear's uh, knife. I like it. There's the GOM. Renegade Provisions Co. GOM, or Renegade EDC GOM, made by Rayot. Multi-row bearings in that. It, well, it accepts skiff multi-row bearings. It's great. Front flipper, flick and hole. Love the profile. Kind of a girthy boy, but I still approve. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, what is this called? The RR Station in Magna Cut. Knife standards, RR Station, in Magna Cut, made by Best Tech, compound ground uh, straight back. Really interesting knife. Blade tucks nicely into the handle. I like it. I like a deep carry uh, wire clip. The uh, Cybertrix. You guys know I love the Cybertrix. To me, personally, worth all the $400. Except for that damn pocket clip. It's a real piece of shit. Sorry, the RR Standard. It's the RR Standard. There you go. Uh, there you go. I love the cyber tricks. Except for these damn thumb studs keep falling off. So, what are you going to do? Uh, Theta. The Kaiser Theta, designed by Elijah Isham. R.I.P. Brother Isham. Not the greatest knife ever, but I just love the way it looks so much. I've kept it for a while. Uh, I just love... I, I loved Isham's design language so much. Not the most fidgety. Access to the lock bar could have been better. But it's so pretty that I just... Can't say no to it. Um, six Leaf Knives SL04 and 154CM. Titanium. Has this crazy thing called a slide lock. That works really well. You just push up on that switch. Kind of works like a access lock a little bit, but it's only on one side of the knife. But good and fidgety. Square pivot, which is interesting. But cool. But the cool boy. Uh, Dirk Pinkerton designed... Ah, shit. I was doing so well. This is made by Beyond EDC. The Contact. Titanium frame lock. Real nice. I'm pretty sure these are really relatively affordable. Like 200-ish bucks. Out of stock at the moment. But a cool little knife. Can you guys tell I like warnies? This is my sadly broken... Uh, E, uh, 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 Todd Knife and Tool Roxy 3. Uh, something, it's not broken, broken. I just haven't had time to get it back on track. The pivot's all whacked out. It's all wonky. I gotta basically glue some things back together. But I still love this knife. This is probably one of my all-time favorite Wii's. Top three, maybe top five. Uh, definitely my favorite Todd Knife and Tool knife. And unfortunately, right now it's broken. So there you go. The Wii Roxy 3. Highly recommendable, as long as it's not broken. Uh, EMP EDC Nimble Warning with that BGM regrind on it. 
This is the knife that made me cry. Don't go back and watch that video. I was having a rough day, and then this arrived, and I wasn't expecting it, and it made me happy. So happy that I cried. Yeah, know what happens. But there you go. Love that knife. I'll never... That's another bury me with it. That's another bury me with it. Probably my favorite modern best tech that you can still go buy is the uh, Super Freak. NM4. Just a freaking tank. I could take down trees with this thing. I think it's badass. It's just a beast. Action's good. Makes a good noise. Cuts great. Uh, Microtech LUDT. Boom. Still to this day, one of my all-time favorite American-made Microtechs. If not my very favorite. At least that I own or and have reviewed. LUDT is a banger. I really want to check out the new one. Uh, MBK, large old guard, inset lock, my, my Carta. This one has some lockup issues. I could send it back and have them fix it. I just, why bother? It's a light use EDC. I'm not really too concerned with it. Uh, ZDP 189, Sand Mai. Just a beautiful knife. Nice and clean. Yeah, the pattern on this is frag. There you go. Uh, the Mustache Shaman, uh, flitanium titanium scales, polished gold backspacer, polished clip and hardware, with the gold mustache to match the uh, Spidey Chef. I've also had the nub ground off and added a sharpening choil. It weighs like 16 pounds with these scales on it. Okay, okay, I get it. You got a lot of knives. Jay, I know, dude, I know. Um... We'll go through the grail box on Thursday. But there's the Shaman. Another Aisham design, We Eterna. I just think it's the prettiest damn thing. One of the prettiest knives Wii has ever made. May not be the most useful or the most fidgety, but God, it cuts great. And man, it looks so, so good. I just love the way that thing looks. The Wii Knife Co. Eterna. Uh, old school Best Tech, Best Tech Shinkinson, with the added thumb studs. Uh, this is a front flipper only that's been long discontinued uh old school best tech uh back when they were using s35v in on everything instead of m390 uh in-house design just a simple clean it's, it's interesting they were just kind of trying to learn the learn what everybody wanted and this was <laughs> one of the steps along the way i guess uh one of my older spider my oldest spider co probably had this six to eight years now maybe more nine to ten years tenacious black on black in uh, 8CR, 13 MOV. Yep, love it. And we have this guy. Spyderco PM2, XHP. Warney with OG scales from Cutlery Shop. Love it very much. It's the best version of the PM2. Fight me in the comments. Um, <clears throat> This is the Kunu Knives x in LMAX. Not the Chad, the x -Tow. Action's a little better on the x than it is on the Chad. But it's just the towel with an axis lock, or with the uh, X lock, or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, and finally, boom, Tharshi blows. Tharshi blows. The last one in the box, or in the, the toolbox, the Vostid RS Chaos, highly recommendable, insane value for money, an absolute beast. It's a button actuated compression lock, basically, so it works just like a spider comb. Uh, I love everything about this knife. For 250 bucks, insanely recommendable. Vossi links down below. But that is it. We're done. I, I can't go on anymore. I've got to get to bed. I've got a lot of work to do in the morning. But it's been, a, it's been an honor and a privilege. It's been goddamn exhausting. Like, if I had filmed this off stream, I would have done everything you just saw me do over the course of an entire week. Over the course of an entire week, I would have done that. Nah, for you guys, all at once. K thanks, bye, Paul Might. Yeah. <laughs> but that is it. Thank you to everybody that donated. Um, tell your friends. Tracy has a lot of knives. <laughs> Too fucking many, dude. I love you guys. All the channel members, everybody that donated, channel members, and all that good stuff. All my Patreon members. Thank you. I love you guys. Uh, on Thursday, Thursday at noon. We'll go through the grail box. We'll spend more time talking about each knife. But we'll go through the grail box. Uh, Thursday, noon, Eastern Standard Time. New video tomorrow. I love you. Good night. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Get, the, get out of here, okay? Dude, my wife is going to kill me and you.
and everyone you love. Do you understand? Don't you get it? What don't you 